my wallet is sobbing. I can hear it. I can hear it in the hall now. It is breaking down, crying. Hold on a minute. It's Mal's America trip. We got a better theme song for that this week. When you go, well, you say. And he got back safe, as you kind of heard a bit last week, but uh, we didn't get time last week as we were in a bit of a pinch and we really wanted to get the Poxus uh, review out. Um, so this week we have a very special episode where Mal is going to talk about his uh, journey to the Promised Land. So Mal, how you been? Have you, are you back on uh, UK time since? Um, pretty much. Uh, there's, it's sort of a... The odd moment where I uh, feel a little weary and maybe oversleep a little bit, but uh, I'm pretty much back to normal now. I won't be uh, dozing off during this uh, this recording, at least. Yeah, it was <laughs> funny. I, I mean, I don't think the audio listeners would have would have seen, but uh, if anyone watched the YouTube video I put up, there was a bit of yawning uh, going on mid mid <laughs> mid program. I, I nodded out it's a, a long times. Bit. I don't know if it's that obvious, but God, am I that boring? Huh? <laughs> yeah, that was definitely when you were talking, John, not me. <laughs> of course, Rich, of course, as always. I think it's when I was talking. <laughs> <laughs> and um, to help us along recount Mal's, Mal's journey, because I'm sure there was bits when he had too many beers aboard or whatever, uh, and just to provide a bit more colour, we have uh, two of our favourite friends from across the pond and uh, the two people that uh, Mal spent the most time with when he was in America. So first of all, we have Trevor... One six shooter. How are you, Trevor? Great, great. Thanks for having me. No problem at all. And we have Nate Corona Four, Nate Strong. Uh, the second uh, part of stop of Mal's journey was in Nate's house. How are you, Nate? Excellent. Yeah. Ready to dish the dirt on Mal here. Hundred <laughs> percent. I've been chomping a bit. <laughs> oh, I've got stories. <laughs> 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 Very good. And Rich, we might as well give you an intro, even though you, you popped in there early. We had to endure you uh, with your bony ears on earlier. But, uh, it, well, we are in an early Easter celebration. Yeah, you're today, peaking, so, you're um, peaking early. Yeah, what was the so story with yeah. celebrating Easter a week early? We're just going to be away for Easter oh, itself. Okay. So just oh, get, you up uh, in my, Wales? Yeah, my wife's best friend and family around sort of thing. Kids did an Easter okay. egg hunt. Uh, wow, yeah, the nice neighbours must have wondered what was going on. <laughs> It's old people on both sides. They're fine. Oh, yeah. They don't know what day of the week it is, huh? Exactly. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Gives new meaning to trying to keep up with the Joneses. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 hey, I tell you what, I was, I tell you what John, if you thought, if you, thought uh, you referred, didn't you, to this show as uh, you and the Baldy Club normally, well, you're in real trouble this week. <laughs> Surrounded by them. Yeah. They have the good grace to wear hats, you know. <laughs> I was wearing bunny ears. What would you want? <laughs> Anything else, literally. I'll take the ball. That just that just augments the ball, I think. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> there we go. Now I have to That's look at this all evening. Oh, it's adorable. Oh my goodness. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> so you boys were you at you weren't at the ToyCon in New Jersey this weekend, uh, Trevor at all? No? No, I was conned out and, you know, a, we a weekend away, you know, leaving my wife, it's like, it's hard to say, hey, guess what I'm going to do the next weekend? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to be gone all Saturday. I mean, as it was, yeah. I was down here, like, uh, we'll talk about it later, but uh, I was down all here yesterday, it was pouring rain here, so, uh, you know, I got uh, some more work done on those photos that uh Ooh, you know yes down to about like 65 i think at this point so remaining or yeah remaining yeah yeah remaining wow that's pretty impressive nice. and you nate is uh, was it snowing again in michigan did i see or yeah. oh yeah we got dumps on wow. friday yeah wow. yeah like you know, it's typical Michigan. They always say you don't like the weather. Wait 15 minutes, but <laughs> um, you know, we went from 70 like a week prior, and it was fairly decent. Yeah. We got a mosquito, thank God. But 
yeah, a yeah. week later we got probably four to six inches. It'll be gone oh, wow. by tomorrow. Wow. No, we did. We it's colder this weekend, but not not like that kind of cold. But we did have a kind of a false dawn on the nice weather, and then this cold now was. You know, I was going out for walks. I was backing out for walks. Going, this is great. And I went out yesterday. I was like, nah, I'm going to do a short walk today. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Don't fancy the wind just biting across my face. Mm-hmm. It's not really, uh, <laughs> not really anything to to be uh, looking forward to. Yeah, and I, I know better. Get the... This is the last one too. I'm sure we'll get another. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, could be as yeah. late as May. <laughs> so you never know around here. Yeah, it's true because you're. I, I always think you're kind of at the same. Uh, was it la- longitude or latitude? I we kind of are. Which one. We, we kind of. Well, I'm a little lower though, and I'm Long Island's yeah. on the ocean, so we get a little bit of like when things come across, it starts yeah. to warm up a little bit because of the ocean a little bit. So we don't get as much snow. Yeah, you're quite lower. Upstate you're more New Spain. York, yes. Yeah, you're more Spain. Uh, yeah, compared to us. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yep. But because of the Gulf Stream, we get. Like we'd be we'd be Arctic Circle weather if it wasn't for the Gulf Stream. I'd tell you that much. Yes. Yeah, well, the UK are. is yeah, yeah. the same longitude, latitude, or wherever it is as uh, as Canada. Yeah. But we just yeah. we don't get we don't get the snow. We just get rain. Because yeah. Of the Gulf Stream. Yeah. It's because <laughs> it's funny, of the, isn't it? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Anyway, that's the weather update for this week. Um, <laughs> <laughs> now, over, now over to sports. So Mal, uh, t- <laughs> take us uh, take us on the the start of your journey. So uh, flew from London to. New York JFK this time, I believe, because uh, Trevor is more on that side of uh, of New York. I did, yes. Um, when I was looking for flights, it didn't appear that there were any flights direct to uh, Michigan, So, which is where I sort of, was, when we were discussing things with these guys, I was like, well, I'll fly into New York, meet up with Trevor, and then we could fly from New York together and meet up with Nate. Um it was a pretty good flight, pretty quick, six hours. Um, Trevor showed me uh, the sights of Long Island, the uh, the beach, <laughs> such as they are the... on the way from JFK <laughs> to my house. <laughs> um, and yeah, we went for we went for a drink and a bit of bite to eat, didn't we? Which was lovely. Yep, um, that was nice. And then hung out. I got to see uh, got to see that room behind Trevor there, and uh, all the goodies yeah. and. Uh, because you're yeah, a bit of a nice. you're a bit of a hot toys appreciator in your time, haven't you been? I have, yes, I do have a, a most of, well. They're all in boxes at the moment, yeah. and I've sold a few off. I'm probably going to sell most of the rest of them off. I think uh, possibly in the coming months, we'll see. Um, but yeah, I do. I know like a guy with an eBay store that might awesome. be able to help you. <laughs> I've got my own. <laughs> I just oh. don't have time. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sneaky well, man. <laughs> any of our listeners who are America based, obviously Mal can you know sell you some and then bring it with him when he comes to Legion's Con if you were oh. to wait a few months. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. The Mal not getting on the plane with two suitcases of hard yeah. toys. I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I cleaned um, up really, really well for 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 Mal to come down here. It's, yeah. it's still a bit of a mess, but. Uh, you know, one I thing I was be... wondering, Trevor, was there anything you needed to kind of hide away from Mal? Uh, maybe, you know, that, oh, maybe. <laughs> yeah, the, there you were parts I'm... of the basement that I I just kept it. Well, first of all, they're very messy. It's like my work table mm-hmm. and, um, that I didn't show off uh, per se. But there might have been some other things behind the curtain that I couldn't couldn't show. And I was very good. I didn't. Yeah, you of course, you're right. can you show yeah. me? <laughs> I know. Mean, I left them alone too. That. Like, and I, <laughs> you know, yeah, you didn't get up in the yeah, middle I of the night. The, no. I checked the camera footage, <laughs> but he didn't. Yeah. He hasn't. T- he hasn't told us a thing. This is the reason why we've. Yeah, this is the reason why we've arranged this episode is because he hasn't told us a thing. You know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm. I'm very respectful. You know. It's. Yeah, I know. We know. <laughs> yes. Rich would have been like buried in it. Knees deep. Oh yeah, I, I'd, I'd still be, I'd still be in Trevor's basement playing with the new figures. I wouldn't be telling anybody else. I'd just be having fun myself. You'd be the reason they're delayed for six months because of the, you know, the, the stuff. Um, yeah, getting I just, broken. The yeah. I just broke them all. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> He'd be popping everything onto the knights. Like my whole, my whole <laughs> order of Etheron would be completely screwed up. But I did watch, uh, I watched a video today from, I think it was Billy Beige or uh, did a video from Toylanta where he filmed the panel. And uh, yeah. 
was either Joe or Jeremy said that they do two paint masters now these days uh, mm -hmm. so that they and they keep one back so that when they get it back from China the first factory sample they can look at it at something that was painted at the same time it's kind of like you have your two copies and then there's no yeah. chance yeah. of slippage you know because they get, I mean, and he mentioned this, like they send them to me and they, I mean, there's no way around them not getting scratched or, you know, at least the joints rub or, you know, moving stuff on something that isn't sealed paint. It's definitely yeah. going to scratch and scrape. And it was funny because he was talking about that, uh, the one, I think it was, I think it was Novian Lean that, no, no, it wasn't as Azar or Azar. Azar. It, yeah, the uh, they wrote demon, something yeah. on the back, like 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 <laughs> yeah. OR for original copy or something like that, and mm -hmm. like they came back and the paint, <laughs> the paint master had OR on it. And, and so apparently, they take that's why uh, every little piece. <laughs> and that's why Torgan's nose has that kind of dark smudge, is because the there was rub. a bit of dirt on the on the nose and mm -hmm. the prototype. It was they didn't paint yep. that on. <laughs> and the factory yep. are so good at matching whatever they get, they just. It's amazing. I mean, when you think Which what I they love. do, I love that little dirt. Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. When you think what they do, it's kind of really just a copy. It's like a photocopy almost, uh, but yeah. in in real life, you know. Amazing. Now that they're doing that, yep. it's probably like one of those things where, like, why weren't we doing this all along? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's more time consuming yeah. too, though. So now they have to come up with two yeah. before they yeah. get them to me. So, um, you know, everything's on a little bit, but I mean, more and more, it's getting to be like, we actually have maybe, you know, a month before things have to be yeah. ready to go. So used to be weeks, and sometimes a week. <laughs> yeah. That, yeah. I remember those days. Yeah. And, uh, you weren't joking when you said you were literally <laughs> just packing it up to the, and driving it to GCon kind of thing. Yep. <laughs> um, and Jim did say another just to, to while we're still on that topic of that video but Jim did say as well that they're going to China in May or so Yeah, him mm -hmm. and George and Chris Yeah, uh, mm -hmm. and it was kind of the context of what he said is that they're trying to make sure that they have certain things done for this year which is already exciting I would say in itself mm -hmm. and also maybe trying to uh, shorten up that little production uh, timeline where they can yeah yeah um, I think that could work face to face is obviously going to be better. It's amazing what they can do long distance already, you know, considering yeah. Yeah. since yeah. since COVID it hasn't really been possible or practical to go there so. That's do you know they're sending um they're sending Jim for that bit John to speed up the process. <laughs> Muscle, yeah. It's like yeah, if anyone's oh, going to yeah. speed it up Jim is. Nobody oh, yeah. messes around there. <laughs> I have to say he he was he was extremely I mean Jim seems like a nice guy but you know kind of He's New Jersey, you know, he's, they have a certain attitude, I think. Uh, well, he was super relaxed on that video. He was very, uh, very, I think he was having a great time down there. So, he's pretty chill. I mean, yeah, when it comes to business, so he's too. business, but he's he's a pretty chill dude. Yeah, we're, uh, so, yeah. we, we booked him for when he comes back because uh, we have not had Jim oh, on the nice. show. So um, that's going to be an interesting tale <laughs> just because yeah. uh, A, hanging around Chris that long and that tight of... And that situation mm. is going to be an interesting story. <laughs> You'd nearly be better just, you know, grabbing your even your phone and just sticking the recorder on the bar of a pub or something and going for a few beers with them. That might be a better show. <laughs> <laughs> That's, true. That's true. Or maybe you could do that for us and and I'll put it in the podcast, there you, you know, as an audio. There you go. And you can still do your uh, your YouTube stream and uh, you can get the 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 more sanitized version the safe for kids version <laughs> and didn't jim say that chris has been like 45 times or something mm -hmm. previously yeah yeah i think he was was wasn't it when he was maybe with neca which wasn't was chris with NECA? he used to go a lot um and i believe his wife or i don't know if i would just say his wife or the mother of his kids mm -hmm. uh she's from there or she's i don't mm -hmm. know if she's from there or she has background anyway yeah. yeah, I mean, if you think about it, yeah. that's probably twice a year for, you know. Yeah, good chunk right? of your career. Over 20 yeah. years. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. It's not an easy trip yeah. either from mm -hmm. where you guys are or from here. So do you fly, sure he's got it down. Do you fly Hawaii yeah. direction or do you fly over us if you're going there? I would say I you'd, mm, I, I, I always thought you'd go Hawaii. to Hawaii and at least take yeah. off from California and yeah. then go 
go from there. Makes more. I think it's probably closer. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And I think all the factories on that side of China as well. The yeah, the east yeah. coast. Yeah. Very good. Uh, anyway, Mal, you were uh, you you were in Trevor's, and I assume he shared, he served you up an amazing breakfast on that. Uh, well, first morning. breakfast was it was very nice. We went to a, a little local deli that Trevor goes to. Oh, uh, the dream! And, uh, I had the old breakfast burrito that I had to, oh, I had I to give it that. a go when I saw it on the menu, and it was very very nice. I love that. Um, see, that's the thing about visiting somewhere with a local is you get to see the cooler stuff, you know, no matter where you are. It. And I mean, obviously, yeah. Long Island is a pretty cool place. So, you know, yeah. that's... Uh, it's that's a good awesome. deli. It's definitely a good mm. deli. Uh, I'm there it, every day. It really so. is. I'm glad so. the burrito was good because I've never had the burrito okay. from there. So I'm glad it was... What's your, uh, what's your usual... <laughs> Uh, I get, I get like the, strangely, my cholesterol is not high. I don't know how I, it's my, I, I, I think my it's genetic knows, but thing. It's, uh, I, I don't think food yeah, is involved in cholesterol. Um, I think it's a genetic thing. Well done bacon, two eggs over easy. No, I hold the cheese, no cheese, oh, uh, nice. wrap, salt nice. and pepper. So, yeah. It's mm-hmm. kind of like pepper, uh, so. if you were, if you were a smoker all your life, you know, when people give up smoking, they often get really sick and then they, you know, especially yeah. later in life. If you've been eating bacon and eggs all your life, just keep at it, you know? <laughs> yeah. Unless I, you're like, I you know. I substitute with the turkey sausage every once in a while. Yeah. But, I mean. No, it's, but it's true. It's not that much more healthy. I've looked into it and it's really, it's negligible. Yeah. So. <laughs> That's true. Exactly. Yeah. But, you know, you're uh, still look a fit young man. So, you know, we let you away with it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's all, it's um, all in context here, Trevor, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, uh, it was. It was fantastic. No diabetes yet. Yeah, like... <laughs> and how long um, did you, you you you? How long did you have then after that? Were you guys kind of getting ready to, to go uh, to the airport? Yeah, yeah. We no, nah, we ate breakfast and we got uh, we got a car. Uh, took us yeah. to the airport like uh, like an hour later, hour and a half, something like that. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. Um. Then Detroit got, was only so like, got, like an hour, right? Less than, uh, yeah, it was about an hour, right? Hour, sure. hour, hour, an hour and a half, something like that. Hour and yeah. a half, maybe. Oh, it was that's an hour not too bad. Yeah. Um, and that's in, into in Muskegon or into Grand Rapids? Or, oh, no, that was Detroit for Nate, yeah, of course. Yeah, that was yeah, into yeah. Detroit. Yeah. I'm flying over you, Nate, here. <laughs> yeah, and I got I to gotta tell you, I, so I went to pick him up and I'm waiting in line. And there's like three rows deep of cars, you know, tons of people are coming out of the terminals and I'm looking, 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 looking for them. And I look out my backside window and all of a sudden I see Mel and Trevor. (laughs) And my brain for like a half a second was just like, what the hell are A, are those two guys doing together? And B, are they in Detroit? (laughs) It's just just a surreal thing, you know, and. And then, of course, I was like, oh, duh, I'm here to pick them up. But it was just, <laughs> I was kind of saying the same thing. Why the hell am I in the yeah. second? It was just like, what? <laughs> it's true. Yeah, that, that kind of, when you see people out of their, you know, not where you expect to see them, it's a bit strange. Right. And especially as we kind of know each other through it so well, either through Legion's Con or just the internet doing stuff with each other every week or every other week, you know? Yeah. Um, that's amazing. And that, was that your first time in Nate's place then as well, Trevor? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Wow. First time in Detroit. Uh, yeah. First time in Michigan. First time in Detroit. Yep. And definitely. Nice. Yeah. First time at Nate's. Yep. That's cool. It's very good. He's What's... a great host. Yeah. Well, thank you. We have heard Every from the my wife guys lovely. that you're that you're um, you're a good host, Nate. No. We had a good time. We had a few cocktails. Maybe. Yeah. Oh. I saw uh, <laughs> a few beers, a few cocktails. Yeah, we stopped at a local uh, brewery on the way. Just to give a little buffer, my wife get ready, get dinner <laughs> on. <laughs> I, I don't know about you, Rich, but I was quite, that was when I got quite jealous was when I saw them just sitting around <laughs> playing darts and that other board game. And, yeah, uh, I was getting mm, furious at this point. Yeah, that, that's my kind of scene, you know. <laughs> I mean, I'll be honest, I'm quite angry just talking about it now. Mal talking about his burrito <laughs> breakfast roll and I'm like, son of a bitch. <laughs> it was, uh, I witnessed, yeah. Did he, I witnessed the downfall. Yeah, did I, did I, did he tell you I trounced him at every uh, pub game? Did he? Did he yeah. He did. He, did. he have... said he let the British down, I believe was a phrase he <laughs> yeah, used. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah I, he was held for two hours at customs in Heathrow when he got back. <laughs> 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 it was like the Spanish uh, Inquisition, they, you know, MI6 really, and MI5 and all those guys were there. 
Yeah. We we heard you lost. Is this your Instagram, sir? Yeah, we're gonna have to deport you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's got a little red stamp on his passport now, you know. Yeah, it was made very clear it's to him. Dark. If you, if you, that happens again, you yeah. don't come back. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't the that jet was lag. Mel had to get over when he you know, he arrived back in the UK. It was the full body cavity surgery. Oh, so yeah. <laughs> hearing upon hearing, he let the countryman down. <laughs> I'd like to blame the alcohol, but it's not at all. That was just you know, that you know, just what made they, it easier to if lose. They beat you at like. <laughs> Baseball, basketball, American football, you know, all those things. That's acceptable. Pure, I know. Definitely acceptable. But pub sports, you know. This Dark, is your Mal. shuffleboard. <laughs> Mal, when you... Good thing you didn't have a snooker table, me. Nate. It would have been really, really <laughs> bad. Right. Ooh. Me and Mal are meeting up on Wednesday, face to face. Mal, we're finding somewhere with a dartboard. <laughs> I'm going to get you practicing, dude. <laughs> there you You're go. training to Legion's camp. This is yeah, yeah, and there's two and there's two different places in Bristol with shuffleboard tables. So <laughs> if you and John come down in Bristol next time, we can all get a practice in. Well, <laughs> luckily, and then the I Irish pub it. at Legion's Con doesn't have a dartboard, oh, yeah. so you're off the hook. Yeah, that's that's true. Well, we could arrange one. There's a Walmart down the road. You know, could be there. <laughs> that's true. There's guys with there's guys that are putting up all those uh, shelves and stuff in the show floor. I'm sure they have a screwdriver. Or we could get it up. <laughs> Yeah, I love that sure, that Irish pub is so authentic, and they like they like deconstructed a real pub in mm. Ireland, took it bit yeah. by bit by bit, and someone comments, "Oh, that's a really cool dartboard." Well, yeah, that's from Walmart. <laughs> 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 yeah, but the, you know, it's genuinely what might actually happen in an Irish pub. So you know, right. trying to it's still know. cork, but that is it's from cork. That, yeah, <laughs> it's <There> cork. <laughs> that is a really nice pub, though I have to say. Uh, I was a bit worried. Oh, okay. When I, when we were going, they're not worried is the wrong word, but that it was going to be a bit small and kind of, you know, you'd kind of have to squeeze in there, get your drink and kind yeah. of come out to the lobby or yeah. something. But it's quite spacious and there was just the right amount of people around that you could always kind of get to the bar and mm -hmm. you could yeah. stand around for a chat if you met somebody. Uh, yeah, and the like... restaurant was pretty easy to get in and out of. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was, I was pleasantly like, surprised with that. Training. Yeah. It was really yeah, like, nice. Yep. It's a great place. And now the expectations are high for next year. <laughs> well, and next year, uh, if, if we've got 95% of the hotel, year. potentially it'll just be us in there as well. Might be one yeah. or two other people, but... That's true. There'd be no uh, wedding to... To cheer, yeah. To cheer on. Yeah, that's it. I reckon that I reckon the bride and groom might come back for a honeymoon there. Yeah. They like seeing us so much. They'll come back just to say, yeah, that's they're going to party with us lot for the, uh, the weekend. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Where do we go for our anniversary? Uh... Legion's got. Yeah. I I mean I'd go there for any anniversary, but you know that's me. They probably have never even heard of Mythic Legions. Right. So uh, that was. Uh, so tell us about. Is it really a mansion that Nate lives in, or the <laughs> are the my wife guys exaggerating? <laughs> it's a very nice house, and he's got okay. A, he's he's got a very cool downstairs area uh, uh, in the house. That's where we were sitting, and right there. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. Um, got to see here, uh, Nate's little uh, man cave as well, didn't we? Where you mm. shoot your stuff and. Mm -hmm. And uh, that is quite often the background to Nate's videos. That was very cool as well. Um, mm -hmm. Thank yeah. you, Mal. I panicked for a little bit there when you said you got to see his man cave. I was like, this is not that sort of show where you start talking about that. <laughs> Has that turn not to uh, cross the pond yet? Is that the... not very weird? No. <laughs> Something else. Not, that's a, not like that's it, the cavity it. search it's term. That one, yeah. Trevor. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah we're cool. uh, encouraging Nate to expand that outwards. Uh, which, uh, yeah, we've know. been bad influences. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> really bad influences. Come on. Yeah, man. I mean, I, I understand you have a family, Nate, but I mean, there's a lot of room there where that dartboard is, and you know, the the, the games table and stuff. It's pretty I mean, much that's a lot of room for then. figures, man. If you can. <laughs> yeah, we'll we'll see. <laughs> Put that foot he down. Knows, and like take over he, that. He knows Put where he knows where he's bread is buttered. If Nate is anything like me, he likes but an Nate's easy already, life. Already, like you know, yeah. I'm happy. Yeah. I've got the bar and the yeah. and the big screen and the dartboard and the drum kit and you know, it's, yeah, it's all good. It's not like it's you know. That's true. Uh, yeah. I'll, so yeah, Jeremy DeWitt's looking for a drummer for his band, isn't he? You could you couldn't make the trip across. 
Well, it's really my son who plays. So, oh, is it? You know, okay. Yeah. Ah, pity. Send him across. No, that wouldn't be good. They just get on there when nobody's <laughs> home. Just <laughs> pick him, pick him, pick him, pick him. <laughs> I do. <laughs> when, the, when the figure he's trying to photograph has fallen over for the 12th time, mm. and he goes, Oh, yeah. Why did Ooh. I pick this 2.0 skeleton to, to, for this picture? <laughs> yeah, I go yeah, take the, my frustration out. On that the is a good stress reliever. Yeah. Absolutely. Did you ever go on the drums, man? No. I wouldn't do that to anyone. <laughs> um, I do. You didn't get drunk enough, basically, is what you're trying to tell me. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't. <laughs> Just, uh, no, me, I'd break something. So uh, <laughs> I, I'm terrified of touching anything when I go to other people's houses. So. Yeah, even yourself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, that's more ash lightness, especially. Yeah, yeah, yeah. especially. Yeah. Yeah. Thank, yeah. thank goodness too, because we were both sleeping on the same couch. So, that's, uh... yeah. <laughs> so we need to yes. check for the CCTV cameras, Matt. Uh, that would have been tough, yeah. It's all right. Trevor would probably spent most of the night awake anyway with me snoring. <laughs> oh, I remember that. Well, I remember I that from November, Trevor. I would have known if you were doing that because the, the snoring would have stopped. But uh, <laughs> yeah. I had headphones. I had headphones. So yeah, yeah. that's the little, key. Uh, he was listening to Rainfall, a little, rainfall, a little uh, <laughs> you know, Lord of the Rings soundtrack, something like that to go to sleep to. It was good. <laughs> Wouldn't it have been funny to listen to old episodes of our show with, with the guy snoring beside you? <laughs> a bit weird. I'm not, I'm not sure oh, that totally would have been loud enough, really. For me. Yeah. <laughs> right. So um, anyway, to get us out of uh, Nathan, These two uh, sorry, definitely. Trevor and uh, Mal off the couch, um, you drove over then to Muskegon the next day. Is that right? Did you we have did. A, it was a lovely drive. Um Nate it took us uh, again. Get, let's see some of the sites we drove past. Was it uh, the town where your college was in, Nate? Uh, we all you we took drove about, past East Lansing, uh, yeah, yep, where Michigan yeah, State University then, is, and then we stopped in Grand Rapids yes. for lunch. And that we were going to go to the state's probably one of the largest breweries and well-known breweries, Founders Brewery. brewery um, but they were closed for remodeling. So I asked Trevor to jump on Yelp and find us an alternate place to go and it worked out great. We were, we were, we review. one review, we were one review yeah. and uh, we were in. Yeah. We were, we were attracted just said, by the, uh, <laughs> go, ahead, go ahead, Mel, you tell it. You tell no, no, it. you did, you tell it. You tell it. <laughs> It was just one. I just I was scrolling down through the reviews on Yelp, and one of them said, uh, "Great food. Um, try the big red cock." And, like, <laughs> and we were we that was it. We're, that was it. we're in. There you go. That's yeah. it. There, there you go. go. More de- more demon wang, Rich. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. More man. More man cave action. <laughs> we, we were in. We 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 were all for the big red cock. And uh, was that old man Kyle him? that did that review? Maybe. <laughs> Possibly, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it was. Uh, what was it? Vivant Brewery, or something like that. Brewery Vivant, Vivant right? Brewery. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was in an old church. Old church. So yeah, it was really a cool venue, and the food ended up being awesome. So what so sort of food was that? Great, and we so we inquired because we looked on the menu. Where's the big red cock? And our waitress said, "Well, it's now called the big red. It's an ale that they make, uh, and they enter brewery competitions, and they've had to lose." The cock. Okay. So to speak. Yes. Had to castrate the beer. I had to cras- to, uh, castrate yeah. the name of the beer. Yeah. Um, but worked out great. And then we, yeah. from there, it was only about 35 or so minutes to Muskegon Heights, which mm-hmm. Mal would oh, probably take beautiful. It it's a lovely yeah, fire sound. Yeah, it was incredible. <laughs> It's when you see That's the guys doing the yeah. deal outside the front of the house. That you, <laughs> don't look at them. Don't Most look places. at them. Look away. <laughs> Most places oh, in the kind of... states name the heights is really not. It's not the height of. Not so nice. It's the lows. Yeah. 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 So but we out on uh, uh, Lake Michigan. That was took him to the beach and showed him uh, the USS Silver Sides, which is a World War II sub. That's oh, cool in uh, in the um, harbor there in the marina. So is we it jumped out, took some pictures on the beach, and made our way to the hotel. Is it displayed on the, beach, the marina, or is it kind of like abandoned on the marina, or how, how is it? 
No, they 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 offer tours on it, and you can spend oh, okay, the night cool. on it. Yeah, it's oh, like wow. refurbished, and yeah, it's by it's they have a little museum there that's great. Awesome. So, yeah. Cool. Oh, right. the the is beautiful, around, man. Like, I was. Yeah. Yeah. So I was. I can't believe yeah. the sand. Around, around, as beautiful as the, the beach sand. can be in um, in the beginning of March. Like I keep saying, I wish Muskecon was in the summer so people could really. Yeah. Hmm really get a sense of what the west coast of michigan's like in the summer because it's amazing but just the quality of the sand i guess i didn't expect that i've been to a couple of great lakes and it felt more like it was an ocean beach you know what i mean mm-hmm. or at least a large bay you know <clears throat> east coast type beach and it was, it was it was gorgeous man really really nice yeah and the surrounding area as well some of the, the you know the houses around there it was obviously an area set up for that beach side seaside yeah well lakeside <laughs> life and it just looked very cool really cool awesome and is that near to where any of the guys live or uh steven i think jeremy i think are f- pretty close to there um steven and um i mean um travis and and um pete are in more north okay and um Whitehall and Montague, not too far, but I mean, you know, Lake Michigan goes all the way up the coast, and yeah, those beaches course, are yeah. up just very much like that, all the way up the coast. Um, so yeah, then we went to the hotel, checked in. So that was a Marriott nice as hotel. well, wasn't it? Uh, like yeah. Legion's Con, so that's handy. Yeah, yeah. it was a nice yeah. hotel. Yeah, it really it was. Nice, right? I was yeah. already registered on the Wi Fi from being registered. <laughs> At Legion's Con, <laughs> <laughs> which is the important bit, obviously. <laughs> oh, yes. completely, yeah. <laughs> How else could you dish the dirt to us, man? You know, <laughs> no, it was a very, very nice hotel, actually. Um, I think because I had the disabled room, uh, it was quite big, and there was a sofa, and uh, yeah, it was uh, oh, yeah, very nice. nice. Why didn't you have any parties? Good for you, <laughs> yeah. You should have partied in your room. Yeah, <laughs> sounds like it. Um, right, and then that was the day of the mythic meetup. So uh, tell us about. Yeah, that. I think we went. We just went down, and everyone was starting to set up on the floor. So we were saying our hellos, and yeah, and then eventually, yeah, the meetup was that evening. Yeah, that was sort of, uh, we hung out with round setup because uh, Pete had been able to get the legions guys, related guys in early set up early. So people could be ready for the mythic meetup. And so we spent a fair bit of time chatting to people there, didn't we? Whilst they meet up and, and I've heard a couple of people, well, Steve was teasing Jesse about uh, <laughs> you know, being military, but Jesse was lovely. I'm going to be the lone voice that defends him. He was lovely. Big oh, smile. Greeted me, yeah. It but was nothing about. He this. does look intense when he's setting up. He is very <laughs> intense when he's setting up. He is focused, <laughs> laser focused. Mm-hmm. Is he just a yeah. typical man? It's like one thing at a time. So now I need to set up. So right. don't distract me with the other stuff. I think please. he's just he. I think he's just one of those people that like. When, and I get that because when I'm doing something that I'm really focusing on, I just don't don't I don't want to be bothered. I don't want somebody coming up and you know distracting me from. Yeah my train of thought or whatever or what i was doing so i get it i totally get it I but tried, he, totally yeah, he, he wasn't like that <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's he's a oh, jesse is yeah, one of the nicest guys in the community let's be as honest. we're going to be fairly close Super to jesse nice. allegiance con this year and now that we've moved tables i'm going to go out of my way to try and annoy him on Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> every he five listens, minutes of asking people to drink to this show chips, <laughs> anything like that it's like you know <laughs> And wear those but ears yeah, when um, you do it. That, actually, that might yeah, soften yeah. the blow. Because he loves the critters, so like, you know. Yeah, he does. Oh, yeah, he'll probably just display you beside these other critters. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got a one-to-one scale here, bunny man. Yeah. <laughs> Not my Still best. turn work. around, he Couldn't... might smack a cotton yeah. ball on your bum. <laughs> <laughs> if you know what I mean. Well, you know, if that works. Stick in your man yeah. cave. <laughs> he might paint some hair in you. <laughs> Oh, pardon me. Yeah, and then we took a break from that, and yeah, went up, grabbed stuff for the mythic, uh, the stuff we were going to give away at the mythic meetup. And on the way back down, met Chris and Kirby for the first time. Uh, they were lovely, very nice to meet them. They were mm-hmm. local. Apparently, Travis had gotten them into the line. I think he gets a lot of people into the line. Um, <laughs> and bless them, they were so sort of 
every time sort of say Trevor or Nate or myself or who else one of the uh for the uh my wife guys came past it's oh it's you uh, I'm very you know <laughs> as if it's like dude <laughs> don't worry about it with normies <laughs> as well you know <laughs> um, uh, yeah but you're you're coming from out of town so you know it's uh it is kind of cool for them you're a celebrity when you're coming from when yeah. you're coming eight hours yeah. across the the ocean right. to uh yeah. skegan when they see yeah. yeah it's it's sultry voiced mal they gotta like go whoa <laughs> speak to us. <laughs> speak to us. <laughs> talk to me um say my name yeah <laughs> that was how much were you charging for that, Matt? <laughs> of course, I ain't answering uh, my, my, uh, my voicemail. <laughs> yeah. And while we're talking about that, Ooh. just a uh, just a little yeah. reminder to everyone that we're on Patreon now. So if you want to hear Mal say your name, just uh, sign oh, up. No. We can sort some more for you. No problem. Service. That might be a nice bonus. Mal will yeah. do your uh, voicemail uh, answer. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know, that's once you're on the Patreon, yeah, just ask and, and you shall message. receive, I would say. Yeah. You know, within reason. <laughs> um, <laughs> Which reminds me, guys, we still need to do our live stream for the giveaway. Uh, we but do. I thought Rich is off to Potato yeah. Land next weekend. We might have to do it without you. <laughs> we could do it do without me. After. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I mean, you know, we'll well, let's not have a production after. meeting online. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We Anyway, I did promise it in March, <laughs> listeners. So you know, this is what happens. But um, you'll all so still yeah, be so, included. Don't worry. <laughs> so I hung around chatting uh, with people until the meetup started, and uh, yeah, that was uh, it. Was very fun. Everyone gathered in the gathered in the meetup room. Lots of drinking, lots yeah, of chatting, lots of laughing. I thought it was a joke. But Maverick actually paid for the per- first what fifty people yeah. have been there. Was that yeah. what it was? And yeah. and mm-hmm. then uh, I think Frank Lira con- contributed something that Pete said today, like helped with the uh, the pretzel bar, which was something I'd never seen before. Uh, no, but it was it was good. I mean, it was a yeah. well, carborama, but it was uh, it was delicious. Um, well, it, it was good, man. It, that was fun. We everybody got the um, well. I think every I think just about everybody got. There was probably like seventy people there. Would you say maybe that's pretty good? Maybe yeah, at the most, yeah. yeah. I was trying to think how so. many. Yeah. No, well, no, 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 I didn't count. Been less. It must have been less because they said they had seventy heads printed and had a few left. Oh, so oh okay. okay. That was okay. Over, so maybe yeah. so there maybe was over, fifty yeah. or sixty. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, yeah. still a pretty good, good turnout. turnout for uh, yeah. you know yeah. a small a little, con. Little, little mosquito, yeah. 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 Um, and um yeah, so we all got our Stephen Bouchardi skull heads, which is Oh, that's cool. Do oh, you have it there? Guys, these, yeah. I can open that still. I didn't so, want to make them I'll <laughs> throw you uh I'll throw you up, up on big screen there for us, Trevor, so you can show us uh what it looks like. There you go. Oh nice. Yeah, so it's been a cool. closed right. mouth and an open mouth skull. Nice. Yeah. Wow. Did a great job. Right. Mm-hmm. I haven't seen Steve yeah, do a really skeleton good. before, yeah, so that's cool. Sculpting. Yeah, well done, him. Um, so everybody got those, and then there was a ton of giveaways. Um, yeah, a couple Did of the kids there push? got some prizes and stuff. Oh, yeah. Well, so, so the first time Trevor I was one of the big winners was, was uh, uh, Travis was in charge. So uh, that already tells you how it's going to go. Uh, of calling numbers, they've already. I think they already told the story about how it went, or we did on our our. Yeah. Uh, our pay their patreon that we did with them um that's right yeah but he called out uh he called in nate and said he said pick a number and nate picks 25 because it's our birthday uh mm-hmm. may 25th both of us and i happen to have number 25 and of so course, when they, uh, was <laughs> oh yeah totally. oh that was like everybody was calling rick uh it was slightly damaged uh on cone one with <laughs> with no skirt which I saw. Um, okay. yeah, but it's you know, but it's free. It's free. It was good. It was nice. Um, Absolutely, yeah. And then he ended up calling my number. I think two more times. Uh, so <laughs> he got he got a little stuck so, on twenty five, didn't he? <laughs> at some point, I won a Euro Legion T shirt, which I gave to Eric Miller. Uh, and cool, and I, oh, uh, awesome. Like a hands pack, which we'll we'll give away at some point. We'll give all the stuff away at, at some point, but. Uh, awesome. But it was fun, man. A lot of people won stuff. There's some little kids there that won some, came out with handfuls of toys and stuff. Yeah, okay. oh, that's that's awesome. I love that. Yeah, it was good. Because legions are very kid friendly in terms of the quality. And, and I mean, obviously you can pop and swap them, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, no, some people have a, 
penchant for breaking them, but uh, I think that's uh, that's maybe uh, some another story that we don't need to get into. Yeah. But um, in general, kids I don't mean, have ham very, hands, so no, that's right. true. Uh, definitely for for normal play and you know popping off and on the heads I mean my kids can do that no problem without I'd have no worries about them breaking it and I even said to the lads you know the magic uh, effects packs that we got with the poxes oh they they spent an hour just messing with them so yeah there's there's so much fun there's you know they are I suppose you know yeah. because if you are playing with the figures you know as kids and then you have these effects and stuff it totally improves the storytelling they're doing, you know? Yeah. So oh, yeah. It's awesome. Oh, yeah. Um, and I love that the line is going there. I mean, we talked a bit about it last week that the accessories are a level up now, aren't they? Or they're getting... Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. 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 yeah, it's really adding a lot. I mean, the hands packs were the uh, beginning of that. Um, I just had a flashback to the first G-Con I was at, which was Aerithere and... I guess I'd gone to the bathroom or something and I came back and they, they called me on to be on screen and they were talking about, I don't know, I think they brought out uh, Belphegor or something like that. And I'm like, you know what yeah. you guys need to do is like a hands pack. He's like, did you not just see the segment like before? <laughs> we just showed it. I'm like, oh my, that's great. Wow. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Just had to go to the um, bathroom. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> just missed that part. Um, yeah. But yeah, I mean, and and it's just leveled up. These magic effects are incredible. Mm. I can't wait for like the the crates and stuff that come with the Cosmic Ox Crew set. Yeah. I think it's just going to get, yes. you know, not telling any tales out of school, but I think it's just going to get better and better with that stuff. So yeah. the stuff we're getting yeah. with the uh, figure obscura releases. Yeah, yes. exactly. Yes. Oh, yeah. But when. When you see them, do you, you, we're not expecting them to do less of it or lower quality of it. Now you know it's it's, right. it, it's always going progressing. So if, if the mm -hmm. accessories are good with Poxes, Necronomus is going to be better, even though we know what's in that. But we we know the quality is going to be there, and uh, and yeah, what's to be announced is going to also uh, have cool accessories. Would you guys want vehicles? Like in cosmic, anyway, uh, or maybe even I mythic, like a cart or something. Or you think it's just too much? I, I wouldn't Anywhere? mind something like, uh, yeah, or a can, like a not a cannon, but like a yeah, like mm, a car, like a trebuchet, with a catapult, or something, or something. Uh, like like a catapult, yeah, catapult like yeah. detour. Has I, feel, done. I feel like vehicles just... in cosmic, something sort of they they're gonna be something that's the equivalent of a mount. So we're probably speeder bike. Yeah, yeah, speed yeah, bikes yeah, like a bike, like that, yeah. speed bike, yeah, yeah. Oh, that'd be amazing. That'd or be a cool. piece of a ship that. would be cool, you know? Because if you think of the photography aspect of the community, you know, give I, them someone uh, like them, a cockpit or something. Oh, yeah, that'd be amazing. Build, build, build that set of the, the wrecked, you know, ox crew ship. Um, mm. And I'm like, this would sell. I would buy this. I would buy these walls and all these broken pieces of fencing and stuff like that. I would totally buy this set as, uh, as you know, as a document. And it's also, yeah. it's also a way for them to, to, you know, obviously Treadway does all the sculpting for the figures or, you know, we'd say 90 odd percent of it. Um, he could definitely leave that off to like other guys. Absolutely. Bill and stuff yeah, and, yeah, yeah. You know. Hand it off. Yep. Like, it's not that Bill couldn't sculpt a great figure, but, you know, this is coming from Eric's head, whereas, mm -hmm. you know, do me a cool spaceship and I'll kind of give you some feedback on it. Yeah. You know, it's not as yep. as uh, as kind of crucial to you know, the look of the line, I would say, you know. Yeah. You know, um, yeah, I yeah, think Bill sculpted sense. a lot of that stuff. I mean, or at least modified yeah, some of it from other files. He's really, so like... he's, he's really good at that stuff. Definitely. Mm -hmm. But they are. I mean, there's, there's an awful lot of talent there in that company. Yeah. I think it's reuse and, and stuff like that. It's difficult to, uh, yeah. you know, do like, a, yeah, that's the other thing. Yeah. You know, a wrecked wall and sell that three times, you know, it's kind of like a one-off thing and you're kind of done. Yeah, that's true. So it's how to do it at the most cost effective way, but you know, just to get four horsemen level factory paint on something like that would be so cool, mm. you know? Do you wonder? Uh, okay, this is a side. All right, what if yeah. they were to sculpt things that were 
I don't know, something like that. And like you were able to buy, I mean, selling STL files is difficult because you can't control mm -hmm. because he's going to get them and just pass them around. But like, I don't know, even put them out there for people or something like that. But I guess third party companies do enough of that stuff that they don't really need to. But I'm trying to think of some way you could monetize that and, and sell the files so that somebody could, you know, download them and print them out yourself yeah. or something like that. Because it is expensive to do the molds and things. Yeah, that's true. Or... Or, or maybe just outsource that part of it or some of it to another maybe. company, you know, mm. um, and license yep. them to make official dio parts for legions or something. Yeah, you know? that's where someone like Crash where they, Customs could come in. <laughs> where they mm. still have the final say as the licensor, you know, yay or nay in terms of the look. Mm -hmm. That would be pretty cool. And if they don't need many paint apps or something on a wall, they can maybe ask McFarlane to do it. <laughs> uh, I trust Rich to come in with the fire. <laughs> this would this was my instruction for this week, John. Sit there quietly and come in every now and again. It'd be funny, yeah. Rich. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and go. <laughs> so. You boys were at the the mythic meetup, so um, and there was other people, other people that came from out of town as well. Curtis was obviously there. It was must have been great to see him and catch up. Oh, it was wonderful, yeah, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. always great to and see Jesse, this obviously is, from the Wolf King. This table. is the thing Eric people Miller. say about. It's same with same with um, Legions Con. You know, um, people say about oh, you've travelled for so many hours or so far, but then like people like Eric and um, Immortal Collections were there and and yeah. uh, oh, Regions Layer Boy Cor Brad Mimes. Yeah, Brad they're yeah. travelling for seven eight hours yeah that's true Frank and Anna. driving yeah yeah, yeah. 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 Now, I wouldn't mind the car for the luggage aspect of things <laughs> yes <laughs> if Rich had a car to Legion's Con it would be dangerous <laughs> Oh, Jesus Christ, I'd have to sell my house before I head it off. <laughs> You'd be like... Uh, <laughs> Turn up in a caravan. Um, the, <laughs> yeah. the Legion's Con two years also ago. With a semi, yeah. Yeah, yeah the, the Legion's Con two years ago, I saw, was it Ishwar and all those guys? Uh, they yeah. had like... They, they had like U-Haul, I think. Yeah, they, yeah they had like... Uh, uh, and I think, yeah, I think he realised he should just become a retailer then <laughs> at that stage. <laughs> Probably a better idea. <laughs> I wonder if there's like an international U-Haul you could hire so to <laughs> drop it off and they take it and bring it over here for us. It's called a boat, yeah? Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> no, I meant Rent. more in terms of the... Yeah. I can always ship Rent stuff out for you guys as yeah. long as I'm not picking up a huge wave yeah. while I'm there. That's true, yeah. Well, Len was Just great to ship car. us a box each last year, but um, apparently he, there was other people he shipped boxes to international that he had with. And they ended up being returned to sender because of some oh, bullshit yeah. with customs at the other end. Yeah. So um, no, I don't think that was Len, that wasn't Len's fault. I think it was just the customs in that country decided yeah. big box, don't like it, send it back. Uh, whereas I know myself and Rich got stuff and it came really perfectly. Yeah, really smoothly, really quickly. And it was a total lifesaver because actually... We just assumed someone would ship it for us and we bought all this stuff and then we're running around going, okay, now we actually need to confirm with uh, Len that he's actually going to do this. Yeah, yeah I, I, d I did put the cart before the horse slightly with my purchases and then it was like, oh, crap. <laughs> yeah, but that's what you do. Just think now and, uh, or sorry, do and solve later. Yeah, that's what they say. Um, Right, and uh, then the Jeremy and was it Jeremy and Jim were there from the Horsemen. They were, yep. yes, yeah. Uh, and they did a presentation, I believe, where they had some cool stuff to talk about. They did, yeah. Jeremy did the presentation, um, and um, yes, go ahead, Mel. Yeah, it was cool. No, yeah, yeah, I don't mind you talking at all, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Jeremy uh, presented this. Uh, well, said, "Oh, we're going to do a book." Not the book you think we're talk we're going to do. We're going to do a new book, which will be the first ten years of of uh, Legions. It's not. I, don't, I think Cosmic's going to be in there as well. I assume um, the first ten years of Legions. It and mentioned, you know, it's the perfect time for it. Uh, yeah, got ten years, and then who knows in another ten years if we can <laughs> see another one. Um, and showed off a few of the pages you've got here. Uh, yeah, uh, of the book. 
yeah, they posted them as well on their uh, social media. So I'm sure you'll have all uh, got a chance to see them. Uh, but we're looking at them here. Um, so this reminds me, and I mentioned that last week as well, of like the Motu book from Pixel Dan, for example. Uh, exactly. It's a kind of a toy guide. Um, it's awesome. I love it. And yeah. obviously that's what you were referring to earlier, Trevor, about 65 or 64 more to take. Right. Yep. Yeah, there were 100 to begin with. Uh, mm -hmm. So <laughs> they came to me, um, I think in February, early February, George and, and Jeremy, and uh, they're like, hey, well, so we're doing this book. <laughs> we're putting this together. But obviously, we're going to need all the old stuff shot, which is something we had talked about a while back um, about doing, but it just kind of like priority wise yeah. dropped off in terms of doing that kind of stuff. And, um, you know, I mean, to have all the accessories and stuff shot and the figures shot well is something that they wanted, but it wasn't a priority. And now, um, because of the book, it obviously was. Um, so, you know, they're like, can you get this done <laughs> you know, within, you know, uh, I think the course of a couple months anyway. So, um, I said, yeah, we can, we can do that. Uh, we, we cut down, there was, there was, there was going to be a little, a few more turns on this page, but mm -hmm. in, in, uh, in order to expedite it, we're, uh, and I think it's, I think it's nicer because there are larger images now. I think they had five yeah. or six images on here before, because yeah. they had some of the side turns and the three quarter turns. Um, so it's the front back and a dynamic pose that we do for everyone. And then the accessory shot. So I think um, that's, that's perfect. Yeah. That's yes. a perfect yeah. amount. Yeah. 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 It can gives you, you what you're getting view yeah of everything yeah. you need to to see on mm -hmm. the figure and then with the figure and stuff so yeah yeah this is this is gonna be awesome to have in hand and it's funny i was just listening to your latest uh episode with your interview with jeremy malcolm yeah yeah and as yeah. it started i was i was thinking about it i'm like you know i don't remember if he covered this or not when we we're there live but um how far into 24 is it going to go? Is it going to go like to the very end of the year? You know what I mean? Mm. And so I think he answered that in your interview you did. So that's great. That, so I'm assuming we're going to get whatever's mm. revealed at GCon or anything, you know, it possibly. It made it sound like that. Yes, for sure. Yeah. Um, so it'll be complete up to the end of this year. It's what it sounds like to me, which yeah. is awesome. So I feel a little relief because I thought it was going to have to be done by like April. <laughs> and now I know that there's, well, which I mean, we, I still have 60, I still have to move on these things. There's 65 yeah. more to go or more. Um, Did they have to send least... you any figures, Trevor? Yeah. You know, what's interesting? Like I, I have a checklist and I thought I was four down from being complete. And, mm -hmm. and Jeremy was like, I can, we can send you everything if you don't want to use your own. I'm like, listen, it's just going to be easier to pull them off the shelf. I have all the accessories like you know, categorized in boxes and stuff. So they're the actual mm -hmm. accessories. Like, you know, that if it's the spear that came with this figure, it's not like the wrong color spear or something like that. So, um, it just easier than taking them all out of boxes and putting them all back in boxes and shipping them all back to New Jersey. Um, so I've started that way, but I realized I'm going through and I'm like, I swear I had like Calavius, I think. And like, not Calavius. What's the other, what's the other, um, what's the human, um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, Kador. 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 I swear yeah. I had Kador and I don't have Kador. I'm like, ah, oh, man. I mean, maybe somewhere, <laughs> but I don't have them on the shelf. I don't know why I wouldn't have them on the shelf. Yeah. Uh, so it's weird. Like I just, now I'm down, now I'm up to six that I don't have. And I could have sworn I had them. So they, they may be somewhere, but uh, yeah, I have to, I have to order a few. I, Sir Valgard is something I have, but I'm not taking it out of the box. So they're going to have to sell me, send me some Sir Valgard to Fair. shoot. Fair. Yeah. Trevor, I've just thought, as Kador's a noble bear character, did you check your bin? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. 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 Uh, yeah, I may have him being stabbed by one of Lee Odysseus or something somewhere. I don't know. Sure. Okay. Maybe, he's, maybe he's under somebody's foot or something. I'm not sure. <laughs> um, no, I swear I had that figure. The female barbarian. I know I have a female barbarian, but I could not find it. Very strange. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's funny. Maybe she's been popped and swapped. Yeah, that's Could also be. the problem. It's possible. Yeah. Yeah. And it must be, be a nightmare. Sorry, Matt, yeah, go. Sorry, no, I was just going to say to Trevor, or ask Trevor or say to Trevor, I guess. 
as much as it's a job, it must also actually be really fun going back and getting to look at and hang, hang you know, analyze, I guess, in a way when you're doing the shoot of the older figures that you maybe haven't paid as much attention to for a while. It is actually like, that's interesting you say that because yeah. it is, it has been like kind of like rediscovering some of these figures and some of the alternate looks too, you know, to some of them. Um, mm. And uh, some of the things that I never put on, like the skirt on the original uh, Artemis, you know what I mean? I never, I just never put that piece on. And then of course for the pictures, you want to have all the, you know, the, the yeah. way it should look with the accessories on and stuff. So um, that's been kind of fun and also challenging because, you know, obviously some of those older figures, you know, like Artemis, you know, with the wings and getting her to stand up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, and, 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 and they're older figures for me because so they're, you know, some of the limbs are a little loose and stuff and just getting them into a stock, you know, uh, uh, you know, basic pose is, is, is tricky sometimes, but it, it has been interesting to go back and look at some of those things. Yeah, that's definitely. I'm guessing then, Hera's staff is just sat by by the side of her or on the floor. Oh, Hera, oh God! I pulled I pulled some of the convocation off yesterday. I was like Balam, I think I shot, and uh, she's right next to Balan. And like, if you just breathe wrong, she just falls over. It's just it's. <laughs> oh, it's tough, it doesn't yeah. matter how I put the staff. She's on a stand. It's like yeah. oh, I'm dreading that one. She's great. I love to... that figure, but oh, geez, yeah. her ankles are she's, just like a yeah, nightmare. She's beautiful, but <laughs> you're gonna have to Photoshop yeah. out a stand here aren't you Somehow. probably possibly right. with her yeah i reckon we'll get a 2.0 at some point yeah. hopefully be nice yeah. Yeah. yeah um and i see for example uh for the exclusives and stuff they have a they give the example of the furious four which made sense for being at mesquite con with uh in their hometown um it's a beautiful two spread two page spread shows the five kind of versions you can make of the figure uh, the packaged uh, con exclusive and the singles. Uh, Trevor's amazing picture that I actually have framed up on my wall behind me here somewhere. Um, picture of the four guys, uh, maybe <laughs> not as nice as that picture you took, Trevor, but picture nonetheless. <laughs> and Nate hey. Barch's amazing art then as well. Uh, so yeah, that's it. I mean, those guys can frame that page of that book. That's for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's going to be really so much cool. fun just to sit down with this book and. Uh, just always not only have it at, at your fingertips for as, as a resource, but just to sit and just slowly yeah. peruse it when, you know, yeah. but and also and some of the behind do... the scenes stories and stuff about the figures yeah. and things. Yeah. That's, Can't that's wait. sweet. And if you did actually just want to sort your figures out, it's much nicer, you know, throw yeah. all your parts down on the carpet or, you know, on the coffee table, open up the book, go, Oh, that's his source. That's his thing. If you wanted mm -hmm. to, you know, put them in baggies and put them together, uh, maybe label them in little bags like uh, like you yep. sh we should be doing <laughs> rather than like me having a shoebox full of accessories from like Advent of Decay that I'm not sure goes with. Well, <sighs> I'm sure I could figure out, but you know, uh, anyone that's not holding the weapon on the shelf, it's in this uh, box. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I shared my, like, my store system with Malcolm <laughs> Trevor, I think, I, yeah. I, kind of made I was having heart palpitations, there. like just like the mixing in a in a like a like a, a fishing tackle box, which is a good way to store them. But like, I'm like I'm just anal retentive about. It. I've always been that way about my toys. I'm either even mm -hmm. kind of disappointed that I didn't didn't separate my my specific Star Wars weapons from. I have them all, but they're not like because some of the colors were different that came with the different figures, you know, and that's the same case with these. And I'm wondering, like, down the line, how picky people are going to get like, oh, no, that wasn't the spear that came with, you know, Balam because Balam's spear was like a silvery black. And this is like a silvery brown. With the amount, <laughs> you know of, I mean? customizing, like, with the amount of customizing in this line, it's going to be impossible uh for things like that to be honest i think it's i think it's gonna get like that though because there are people like that yeah. with star wars figures and the motu figures they get a Maybe. little like no no that's not the original spear that came with this figure you know <laughs> that's not the one look look at this book from 20 years ago that, that was done for the first 10 years yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly yeah i don't care that's yeah i think this is where it's gonna come in handy job. yeah exactly yeah <laughs> that doesn't sound like our problem yeah <laughs> but uh yeah, and also, yeah, for you photographers, for example, if you want to take a figure down off the shelf and take a picture, uh, you probably want to have the right weapons with them. Uh, so mm. if, if you have them, 
uh, on the shelf with certain weapons and you want to get their spear and you're like, oh, is this the right spear? That can mm-hmm. be that can be something. And due to all the popping and swapping, it's just nice to have this mm-hmm. as a reference to go, yeah. wait a minute, did, did, I not, did I not re-pop the right thing onto that after I swapped temporarily? And I th- we're all collectors. So we love physical stuff. We love physical oh, yeah. media, you know, mm-hmm. as much as we yeah. like online. And obviously, you know, we do live streams, podcasts, all that online stuff. We love the physical media. And this is another part of it, you know. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Um, so I, I assume that uh, the reception in the room uh, was pretty was pretty energetic to this announcement. Yeah, yeah. So I think mm-hmm. yeah, it was uh, it was. I think a lot of people in that room were like, "This this is awesome. This is great." I mean, as I've said before, <clears throat> excuse me. As much as I think the story book that we'll get will be awesome, this is the this is more my kind of thing that I like to buy. Um, I think it was the last thing people. F- saw coming too right it was yeah. yet yeah. another book so it was a real surprise yeah, yeah. and rich um being a spreadsheet guy <laughs> how are you on uh coffee table books i love coffee table books i've got yeah. um masters of the universe one marvel dc all that sort of stuff i've i'm eyeing up a gi joe vintage um coffee table oh, book. the one that uh the one that bill uh is it uh, Joe Crazy Bill had on the yeah. My Wife show. Oh yeah, yeah, which just looks incredible. So I'm even, I'm all over this. Even as a non, like I wasn't a vintage Joe person, um, I'm still looking at that book, going, "Wow, if I could swing it, or if it was easier yeah. to get across the water, or whatever." It looks. I sweet. love. Yeah, the shipping is not cheap. Um, for that. It's just you get all the card backs in it, you know, on that particular book, for example. It's not as relevant here to the Legion's book because obviously each wave has their own card back, but it's not like G.I. Joe, each figure had their own file card, you know, and uh, card back. That's uh, sweet to get the art for that. Um, yeah. Yeah. So uh, the two books coming for Legion's now, I mean, that for me, that's almost more exciting. That's as exciting as the game or, you know, a comic or whatever mm-hmm. media you talk about. As a game. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> I was going to say the books will actually arrive, so that'd be something. <laughs> well, yeah, I was just going to say I love what Jeremy was saying too about uh, the you know we'll be pre-ordering that, but they're just going to be ready to go. So he's hoping yeah, with yeah, a month sweet, or two yeah. yeah. pre-order and get it in hand. Yeah, I mean, no. even if even if he's optimistic on that, because you know obviously they're not book people as such, but he did say that they will be ready to go when the pre-order opens. Yeah. So even in the worst case, it's not going to take that long. Right. Uh, mm. Compared to like a compared to a figure order or or a right. game pre order, yeah. <laughs> and quite honestly, from well, what he's saying, they'll actually be very quickly more valuable than you've paid what you've paid for them yeah. because they're not going to print off tons of them. They're doing they're doing it so that they can get an idea of how many the numbers, they need, yeah. and obviously they'll then produce a few more. But, uh, of course, yeah, so it'll be- well. They'll, they'll, it'll be as fast as uh, they get the pictures. So if you want this quickly, absolutely. <laughs> that's pretty good. Send bribes. Send bribes is what yeah. I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, I take it you'll be pretty proud of this at the end, Trevor, after, you know, once it's Yeah, it's, it's going to be together. cool. Like, um, I, I just picked up um, um, a, a book from the, the original photographer for, like, the Star Wars toys, like all the pictures and stuff that appeared in the packaging. And it's, he's got like four volumes of the things. I just picked up one or mm. two. Um, I'll probably pick up the rest of them just because it's like, it's cool. And like, um, you know, this isn't quite that, but like I can I can see, you know, in my old age, like 10 years from now, um, <laughs> like putting a book together <laughs> that like long. that, you know what I mean? Like, 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 oh, I have to take behind the scenes photos or I'll, or I'll never be able to yeah. do a photo like, or a book like that. But mm-hmm. yeah, I mean, it's going to be cool to see all that stuff. Um up in there um Absolutely, yeah it's, no. it's, i keep telling for, my wife for me no like, this is you the know, legacy right here this is it <laughs> i don't yeah, have kids you know no, I, knowing you nate barch you know jeremy who's involved obviously you, we know the people from the studio that just makes it even more special you know for for yeah, all of us yeah. you know uh, and the fact that all those people are just dead sound in the community and you know <laughs> completely approachable and nice people and it just kind of makes you feel even better about parting with yeah. your cash for a cool item like that mm-hmm. um yeah that's the yeah, whole so, line i think yeah 
yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think that's part of it. You know, there is, even if there's bumps in the road, they're very easy to overcome when, when it's the people like that are behind it, you know? Yep. Um, right. So that was the book announcement then. Uh, was that the kind of, uh, that was the kind of end of the, the mythic meetup kind of formal part or did you hang around then for the rest of the evening? Yeah, giveaways, and then um, we everybody hung out for quite a while, actually. I think, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Had to get out there, uh, get out of there at a certain time, but uh, yeah. Then we hit the lobby, like sort of like a Legion's yep. Con, mini Legion's Con oh, lobby sweet. gathering. Sweet. Yeah. And um, hung out there. Was there any crack? Was there any any? Sorry. <laughs> Anything? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Was it what stays on tour? <laughs> what yeah, goes on tour go stays on tour? Heights. Is it? No. <laughs> no, it was. Yeah, it was a good one. I ended up doing my usual, getting carried away and staying up till the last few people, <laughs> <laughs> which I think one of whom was Travis that night. I forget. So name the, name the last few people then, just to, just oh, to give us an idea. Can't no? remember. Oh, you don't remember. <laughs> mixture of tired and drunk. You know. <laughs> and was. Was Eric Miller with with his family, or was he on his own? On his own, uh, he was on his own. Okay, yeah. So yeah. how was he? Was a bit more uh, uh, kind of hanging around with people then, or you yeah, know? it was lovely uh, actually. I sat next to him in uh, during the uh, Mythic Meetup, and it was really nice to actually have a chat with him. And then yeah. he, he, we all he uh, joined us for breakfast, yeah. didn't he, on the Sunday? Jumping forward a mm -hmm. bit, so yeah, it was good to he... actually get to have a proper chat with him. Mm -hmm. He made the smart move and brought his cadre of heads with him to the meetup and oh, sold man. a bunch of stuff, <laughs> like for him, <laughs> yeah, which was oh, sneaky. Fantastic. I was kind yeah. of, uh, you know, before Legion's Con last year, I was kind of like, ah, you know, I'll leave it to the con or whatever. But I think actually just sell whenever you can is basically my new advice. That's it. You know, yep. I, I'm. we sold loads and we're perfectly happy with it. But actually, you know, I'm not saving stuff for people that, happen to be there at the con we're we all know each other <laughs> if you want a head you know uh or, or a painted piece you know <laughs> i'd sell it to you in the bar it's no bother <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, i think that okay. is definitely a good idea Friends. um yeah because eric's is like eric is a seriously nice guy i got to know those guys uh that that crew the mythic neighbors a bit better uh with helping them uh at the start of their show just get the tech together and mm. and, and a few bits uh, and they're all seriously nice guys, oh, uh, you know. Great. Oh yeah. Um, Wyatt, I hadn't uh, ever really chatted to Wyatt before, and I haven't met him because he wasn't at the last uh, two Legions cons. What a guy! And then oh, I and then awesome. I found out he's oh, like great. he's way younger than us. Yeah. <laughs> I was yeah. like, I wish I was that cool at his age, you know. Right. Um, and uh, and obviously we all I know mean, Noah's dead sound. <laughs> uh, Eric's a lovely fellow. Mike Xavier didn't know him that well. Uh, total gent. Oh, Mike's great. Uh, yeah, great guy. Yeah. yeah. And then Joe Russo. Well, I mean, everyone yeah, wants Joe's to be Joe Russo. Here, yeah. Everyone else. Come on. I'd like to be as good. I'd like to be as good looking as Joe. You know, <laughs> <laughs> and living in Florida, and you know, never having had a cold weather day in my life, that kind of thing. You know. <laughs> yeah, all good guys. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh, this is making me excited for Legion's Gone now. Just yes. hearing about this, oh, this kind of stuff. Know. You know. Mm. Well, that's what was so was nice some... about Mesquite Con. It was, you know, it's almost Falls Con in the middle. So we mm. got a little, and uh, we... yeah, Who I think it was Curtis. Was, he kept saying it like his, his cups, but, you know, been filled back up to help him yeah. sustain, you know, you to could get see, the next one. So. You could see even Curtis this week. I was, you know, when we chatted, we chatted to Curtis fairly regularly and you could see he has the energy back, you know, mm -hmm. he has the kind of Legion's energy back, which is awesome. For sure. Um, yeah, actually, do you boys, uh, with no power con this year, is there anything to kind of fill the middle of the year now for you guys? Or When is Ishcon? It's coming up, right? That's coming up, yeah. Um, it's it's not the end of... <clears throat> yeah. End of... End of April? No. I'm sure it's end of August. I think it's... Yeah, yeah, I oh, think is it, it that late? Yeah, I think oh, yeah. it's oh, okay. coming events, so... Yeah. Well, that's probably going to be it for me, because... Um, I mean, they are doing a reveal yeah. there, so I kind of want to be there for that. Um, oh, that's and if right. There is yeah. no power con. Yeah, I mean, I I might try to go to San Diego. I mean, that's not a Legion thing, but uh, no, Diego, but, but uh, it's a nerd thing. If I don't, yeah, uh, I'll definitely I'll definitely try to go to Ishcon. I really want to check it out. That's third of August, Trevor. So 
Okay. Oh. And then you have ret RetroCon, 7th, 8th of December. That's a kind of a big one usually as well. I heard that's great. I probably should go check that out too. That's not too far from you, is it? Where is that? Is that Ohio or is that Pennsylvania? RetroCon is... I don't uh, think it's Ohio. That doesn't ring a bell. Uh, Phil the Greater Philadelphia, Philadelphia, Philadelphia Expo Center. There you go. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, Philly is... Yeah, that's a hop skipping a Philly, jump, yeah. so... Yeah. Yeah, definitely do that something yeah so um you know look at them look at us here talking about cons rich if only huh i'm not bitter i'm not twisted it just <laughs> looks like it i'm just <laughs> glaring like that at the screen it's it's not i'm not put those bunny ears it's, back on yeah exactly <laughs> it's a funny one actually yeah so uh my sister-in-law and the husband uh so my wife's brother live next you know they're in the next door uh house and uh my wife went over for coffee this afternoon and uh she came back and she said oh you know my sister-in-law she she said she had a funny dream she had a dream that we moved back to ireland you know and we wouldn't tell her why or whatever and you know and she was kind of completely confused <laughs> and i was like i said to my wife i said you know there's no chance i'll ever move back to ireland <laughs> you know it's just too good here you know mm. um but oh, there is obviously the language thing would be much easier. But I said, if I wanted to move anywhere for the language, I'd probably move to either America or Australia <laughs> because you get a lot more benefits. And, you know, because it's just, you know, obviously with America, there's a lot of uh, opportunities in and you get all this nerd stuff that we're talking about now is, is definitely more accessible. And I've been to Australia once and it's just a great country. It's kind of like, it's like Europe, but, and America kind of mixed together. I don't know how to mm. explain it. Hmm. Yeah, it's kind of yeah. the best bits of both kind of thing. The only problem, John, healthcare do you, you want to live in? Seem to be good. Go, go ahead. What's that? Re Aussie Aussie healthcare is ringing me with the Aussies because he hates them. <laughs> What's that? Have I done your bit for you? No, no, no. I was just going to say that why would you want to live in a country where last time you were there, you had the shits for a large part of the time? <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't the country's fault. I ate in an American <laughs> restaurant when I was very hungover. And uh, it was KFC was the was the, was the the uh, culprit there. Uh, yeah, that's a and I'm not I, I don't say. care if I libel them. I've eaten in KFC twice, and this has happened to me twice in my life. Well, oh, there you go. Yeah, in t in two different uh, continents. Learn, yeah. <laughs> it might be uh, you might just have to get used to it or something like that. <laughs> yeah, know, maybe sure. maybe there's something in the oil that you know they use that I just don't tolerate or something. You know, KFC had a special two years ago. Yeah, um, it was it was two Krispy Kreme glazed donuts with a chicken sandwich and like fried chicken sandwich in between it. Um, <laughs> it was unbelievable like i i didn't eat anything all day just so i could the calorie wise i could eat yeah. because it was like it was probably four thousand calories or something like that yeah unbelievably good unbelievably good and then you ate fruit the next day just to compensate <laughs> yeah yeah no that, <laughs> i had kinda. a detox after yeah. that but it was incredible it was, it was worth everything yeah uh, as i always say uh, and i don't always live by this but if you're going to eat dessert and stuff at least make it be worth it you know yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't be just and shoving Mars bars into your mouth. You know, go and get something really nice. You know, <laughs> tiramisu or something. Yeah, yeah I gotta say the exactly. food. Like I that. was, I was su not surprised, but like I was expecting some good food. But like barbecue, we went to a barbecue place there in Muskegon. Mm -hmm. Delicious, uh, yeah. good barbecue. And Pizza. then uh, the last thing. Yeah, pizza was the last thing. I'm like, okay, well, we'll get some pizza. We'll see how this is. Like, you know, being a New York pizza snob. Um, now it wasn't New York pizza, and they weren't trying to do that, which was great. But it was, it was fresh. This place is great. Top shelf pizza was that it? Yep. Right? Top, shelf top, top shelf or something. Top shelf. Freaking delicious, man! It was really, really good. Oh, it was um, really good. That was great. Yeah. I love that. Brad, uh, Brad happened to be with us uh, both for lunch uh, and uh, dinner. Yep, Brad, Brad. He was on. Yeah, he was on full doing Scottish accents absolutely. all night. Yeah, yeah. yeah. he is alive. They, they don't choking. fake it on the Legion Slayer, do they? That's not. That's not like an act. That's just how they are. Uh, that's, oh, yeah, that's, that's Brad. Uh, oh yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Hundred yeah. percent. Um, he's on. No, I, I, it's always it's always a thing with pizza. It's like, as I, I think I mentioned before, but there's, there's a lot of Italian heritage here. A lot of Italians came here in the 50s. Hmm. There was a building boom. 
So there's a lot of really good Italian restaurants as a result, you know, mm. passed down through the generations. So the, there's great pizza in this country. It's Italian pizza. Um, so when you go somewhere else, you're like, well, I'm not going to have the pizza because I have good pizza at home. Now, maybe New York pizza is different, of course, so you would get it there. Of course, any pizza is good if you're hungover, so it doesn't matter where you are. But <laughs> it's true. nice to hear Michigan has good pizza as well. That's pretty yeah, cool. Yeah. But but I like that there's always a twist on it. You don't do you don't have to mm -hmm. do the Italian pizza if you're not in Italy or if you're not Italian. You know, do your own pizza. You know, right. I love yeah. it. New York pizza, Chicago deep dish yeah. pizza. Oh yeah, the, even the even that pie. You know, Rich will uh, vomit at this, but even that <laughs> Philadelphia pie that Anthony brought, I love that. Oh, that tomato pie. Oh, no, 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 I love it because pizza. it's, no, it's not pizza, yeah. but I love it that it's, it's from there and it's actually nice if you it's give fine. it a chance. Yeah, it's good. the whole um, in a pinch. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's nice of those guys to bring that when they do yeah. share with everybody. No, it's yeah. those house seals. I mean, a Philly cheesesteak would have been nicer, but yeah, there we go. <laughs> well, we went to, I, I still have it stuck up here on my wall, uh, the the Jersey Mike's menu. I look at it every every so often. Oh, that's funny. Reminisce, yeah. Nice. I made sure to bring one this time. I mean, I'm sure I could get it online, but it's nothing better than having the physical. It's like the book, you have the physical copy, you know. That's right. <laughs> so how was MesquiteCon then uh, itself? Tell us a bit about that. What, like, how does it compare size-wise? I mean, it's a smaller show for sure. It, it, it was very small, really, wasn't it? It was yeah. one hall, well, one hall and a few hallways. Um, variety of stuff. They had some craft stuff. Some they had a little artist Sally, which one of the, I thought it was a really good idea that as you came in, well. If you were doing the Mythics meet, uh, Mythics, there was what it had its own line. But if you were just going into the con, the sort of artist's alley was there. You had to walk through it to get into the rest of the con, which I thought was a really good way of setting that up to make sure people went and looked. Um, but yeah, you got a variety of things. You got jewel, a lot of jewelry, um, mm. other craft things, um, a couple of in, some vintage toys, some modern toys. Um, awesome. Some of the sort of local entertainment things that were advertising their their shows and things. It was it was it was nice little con. Um, it's very cool. And you were yeah. you were working in the Travis's booth, Nate. Is that right? I was working. In, no, I was actually working the Four Horsemen table with Travis. With Travis, okay. Yeah. So second year doing that it was a blast. I love being back there, and you know, it's a great so it's way you, to see everyone. You know, it's you and Trav, is it? Yep, the name. and Jeremy That's was cool. back there this this year a little bit. Um, oh yeah, of course. Yeah. But last year it was CB and Jim, and they just you know let them be able to go yeah, off and enjoy and mingle, mingle yeah. and whatever. So, but yeah, I have a blast doing that. And one of my favorite parts is just brand new people coming by. Yeah. And like, What's this? And getting to explain it and talk to them all about it, and then you know showing them right next to the tables. Stephen and Curtis and, you know, for, or, um, Wolf King. And then there's Eric Miller. And then there was uh, Frank, who had some amazing stuff. Um, you know, Carver Customs and Dusty. So explaining the whole pop and swap nature and, you know, letting them handle some figures. Yeah. That's great. Love it. I heard uh, Jeremy DeWitt on their last episode of the podcast talking about his friend Seabolt, who, who went down the Mythics rabbit hole now. Since yeah, MesquiteCon, he picked up a couple of figures, and now he's literally chasing Travis like a kind of a you know a drug like like as if Travis is a drug dealer and he's a drug addict, you know, kind of thing. Awesome. I thought that was hilarious. He's like, you know, you got any more of those mythics, man? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We've all been there, you know. Got any more of those <laughs> but like, I cannot like. Obviously, in that, there's a lot of Legion's collectors in that little small town just because of, you know, they have a, a group and they are all into it now. Um, that must be crazy to get into it then when you when you you, you have so much on tap then as it is. Mm -hmm. Because I remember when I got into it, it was very hard just to get a figure to see what they were like, um, mm. you know. And then there was also a period kind of maybe around the, the COVID time when it was very hard to get a figure as well unless you're on ebay uh and now it's the kind of dream times if you want to just get three or four figures and mm -hmm. see what they're like you know dip your toe sure. yeah um yeah well that's so uh, a lot of people even kids and stuff 
Yeah. Sorry, yeah. Nate. You need to uh, you need to head off. I I do indeed. Um, yeah, no problem. Apologies. I know that went by really quick, but yeah, no uh, problem. Thanks for. Uh, yeah, so, thanks. so you have no more you have no more dirt to do, dish on these two boys before you go. <laughs> oh boy, I'll have to, I'll have to I'll save sure it for next time. Yeah. <laughs> no, it was it was an absolute blast having those guys here. I mean, yeah, made it, made it that much more special. You know, it was amazing. Yeah, yeah. absolutely, yeah, it was really it was fun. so much fun. Yeah. yeah, no, I hope to to make it over that part of America at some stage, whether it's for Meek Muskecon or just for 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 pleasure. Oh, you just, for a salt, just for a salt and pile tour. Welcome John. anytime. Yeah, we did some yeah. salt, salt piles. piles. We, we no, I'm race. going to De- oh, I'm going to Detroit I- to hook up with Nate so he can look after me, and then we go over to Muskecon. You know, I need I need some. <laughs> Anytime. I need somebody Anytime, reliable guys. to look after me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I did book, I didn't tell Trevor this, but I did book our, our room specially because we could look over the uh, salt piles from our room. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was magnificent. <laughs> Glorious. What a view. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. All, All right, right, guys, Nate, well, uh, I will have a, you listening to the rest of this, but thanks yeah, again. No for, problem. Um, we'll, uh, we'll have a chat about a few more things here and wrap it up. Uh, okay. But thanks a million. Cheers. Wonderful. Yep. Cheers, Cheers Nate. Speak See ya. Have fun. Thanks. Right. No, dish the dirt on me. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's, uh... nah, he was great. <laughs> he's great. Yeah, I know Nate's, yeah, yeah. Nate's a solid. Yeah. Yes. He's a very good, very special thought. Trooper driving. Of course. So. Yep. So yeah. she was driving you around yeah. or? No, no, no. No, he was driving. I mean, but, you know, oh, I mean, oh. driving us back from Detroit at, uh, you know, rush hour and across the uh, across the state and stuff. So, he, yeah, he was great. He was, he's always great. Yeah, because Detroit is quite a big city, isn't it? Yeah, Detroit's busy. Um, and, um, yeah, just even, get, you know, getting out of the airport there and getting home. Uh, it was great. Uh, we we tried uh, Coney dogs. We we had a little discussion about Coney yes. dogs, which is yes. um, something that comes from Coney Island originally. But I guess some people. Ooh. How did it go, Mel? Do you remember they emigrated uh, from? Yeah, that, I don't know, emigrated, it, but they moved from Coney Island from New York to Detroit, and it became yeah. sort of a Detroit thing. Then at that point, they switched yeah. it up and put so, some different. Yeah, Chilean like several or something like states that. had their own, or several cities yeah. across America had their mm-hmm. own version of the Coney Dog. Yeah. And yeah. Now, I don't know if we went to the best place in the world for it, but it's basically a hot dog with meat, chili, and onions, and I guess you can put mustard on it if you want. And you know, it, it's yeah. kind of like it sounds. <laughs> it's yeah, not the greatest food in the world. <laughs> But we had to try it, so we did. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, when in Rome kind of thing. Yeah. Love exactly. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. Cool. So but did yeah. you boys pick anything up then at Mosquito Con? Uh, oh, Mal? Yeah. Get Trevor, go first. What did, what did yeah. you get, Trevor? No, you can go. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I got... Go ahead. I got... Uh, what did I get? I got. I picked up a Sir Owain and a Sir Tib, a uh, Sir Tibius, a Tibius, because I had previous. Yes, yeah. yeah, Sir Tibius. <laughs> <laughs> He's gone up in the world of the um, of the, of the baseball. <laughs> yeah, because uh, I hadn't previously picked them up. I just thought I'm not that fussed by them, and you know, in some ways, I'm not super fussed. They're not my first choice, but. The fact that they were there and I hadn't got them and it's the cheapest I'm going to get them. I thought, I'm mm-hmm. going to get them, I'm going to pick them up. Um, people talk about Sir Owain's armour and how cool that is. So I thought, ah, grab him. Um, another Poxus, just to have parts, really. A few heads off Wolf King. Uh, the Char 70... I forget the date, sorry. Oh, yeah, Carver uh, Custom? Yeah, yeah, the Carver yeah. Customs. The little oh, you got some off Brian. Oh, yeah. That's brilliant. Yeah. I love that yeah. thing. Um, um and that was off. oh yeah, and a a, a print off Jeremy uh DeWitt, which I thought which one by the time get? I got back it was gonna get trashed, but it's actually in immaculate condition. <laughs> I'm a little bit taken aback. Is that the Nintendo one, is it? No, I completely forgot about that one. Although I, did, oh, I no. did see it after I'd bought the other one. Um, again, but there's spoiler. Sorry, 
guys. I'm sure they won't mind me saying, but sounds like they are going to do a T-shirt of that. So I think oh, cool. I'd rather cool. have that on a T-shirt. Prefer the T-shirt, so. yeah. Mm, yeah, 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 yeah. That'll be a good T-shirt. Um, and that was about Absolutely. it. And obviously, I brought you guys stuff back from Anthony House Seal that you uh, <laughs> pre-ordered beforehand, and uh, that's yeah, yeah that's, that's about awesome. It. Yeah, and I think Anthony has thrown in a few things to give away for us. So once I sort through that, or once we get them sorted through, we'll uh, definitely do something for that. And you, Trevor. Did you break the bank? Yeah, I, I picked up a bunch of stuff. Uh, no figures except a, a, an elf figure from Nate, who he was getting rid of a, an elf legion builder. Um, oh, nice. Dang Studios had some prints there Ooh. along with their coloring book, which I got another copy of because I, I realized I, I gave them all away. <laughs> so I'm like, I'm like, I'm like dude, I, I gave them all. I, like, I need one of the, another coloring book. I gave them all away. Um, but yeah, I, I guess his friend puts these things together. This is like a little like... That's like, sweet. I'm, I'm thinking like a bloodbath, but it's all these little dragons around like a kind of like a birdbath-ish type yeah, of uh, situation there. That's which is pretty sweet. cool. Yeah. Um, so that was from Dang Studios. Um, from Wolf King, against my better judgment, I picked up two sculpts to paint because I don't, I've got like a th probably 400 sculpts that I have to Paint. Yeah, and uh, but these They're are two good ones. Bleh, the duck, really uh, cool. The duck like, uh, from Jason I Rodriguez. Love this and duck, the, right? Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah, it's oh good, my yeah. god! And the bitey is that the bitey vampire? Is that what he's called? Yes. Yeah, this is the, the big yeah. ogre scale one. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah, bitey, yeah. With bitey, wasn't it? I think. Bitey, yeah. bitey. <laughs> uh, they had some great oh, stuff. Yeah. They had like some some guns and stuff for uh, cosmic, and I just like I have to temper myself because I just have too much stuff yeah. that I'll never get yeah. through. Um, Same, Corey yeah. Schatzenhofer was there with like a bag of stuff, just handing stuff out. So <laughs> amazing. He, I don't have the thing that he had, but he had like a bunch of like um, like familiar type things that would go on the arm, much like Valak's oh, um, bird, nice. but they had a bat. Yeah. And a, uh, <laughs> crow or something. Hey, we're cool. That's a, it's a, a snake. great idea. It's um, amazing. Yeah, snake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nate picked up the snake. Oh, that's a sweet uh, head. He yeah. just threw me this one, so this was great. Wow. So it's um, an Orc Legion builder with a beard on it, basically. Yep. Fury um, fan. A couple of Eric Miller sculpts. This guy right here, <gasps> just a beautiful. Oh my oh, god, that's gosh. amazing. Just plain yeah. head, right? Like, I mean, it's, it's going to be. Like I think an, this would be a yeah, cosmic guy. You know, I don't want beard, humans kind of cosmic. cosmic. Yeah, yeah. Human, yeah, he might go into weird. Noble Bear. We'll see, or maybe oh. we'll see. <laughs> Rich is maybe gonna he'll be a knight. Bag. Maybe he'll be a knight, Rich. Okay, maybe there we go. Knight, That's all right. <laughs> Gotta be in the army, uh, this, yes, surely. Oh, wow. head, oh and nice. that amazing uh, female head, the Gwendolyn. Gwendolyn, is brand. Gwendolyn. Oh, now, the one, that is amazing. Yeah, it's beautiful. I mean, it's beautiful. And I gotta say, like, I saw uh, who sculpts that? Steve? Who sculpts that one? I think is this is a... Planetary Dog Toys. Yeah, pretty sure it looks like it to me. Toys. Um, the only Jeez. the only issue there is that Jeez. she's got to kind of have a, a tilt because of this bun. It just uh, yeah. it won't yeah. you know, obviously go over. Fair the enough, but uh, that's fine. It still looks good. Um, I think the, and he, I mean, he painted the paint it. Paint job I mean, makes up for any Miller. lack of articulation. Exactly. Yeah, <laughs> it just looks good. Um, and then from our Lord Steve Bushotti, I think uh, Nate and I picked up inadvertently the same exact heads oh, uh, but i just love this guy and he painted it that. so it's well and he matched scale the kind flesh of tones ponytail on a bald head yeah just amazing it's a real like uh yeah doofy looking like pinhead type ogre mm. guy and it's steve is really good at matching the skin this. tones i have to say really good i mean it's mm -hmm. it's dead nuts on it's really, really yeah good. you yeah, don't need to fudge it yeah um, very nice and then I, I think people have talked about this, but I was shocked. Frank Lira was there with a table filled with customs. Yeah, Frank. F uh, where was Frank at Legion's yeah. Con? Because like he just came out of the blue there, and he's got a table full of customs. It's amazing. Well, he said because people were like, "Frank, you got to get a table at Legion's Con." He's like, "That is my like vacation, my enjoyable time." He's like, "I don't want to be tied to a table. You don't want to be, be so, yeah, okay." Around. Which I get. I get, but man, uh, so he he did this. I got another Fury. So I've got Fury Orcs. From, oh, it's kind of my oh, thing that I go wow. to uh, customize. And you can paint and Fury as well. Amazing. Orcs people. Uh, yeah, really, really beautiful paint job on that. And then I got a yeah, big, I think big, big head. 
I was going to say, I think Big Head Studios is selling that head in that color at Legion's Con, and I didn't get it. And I'm still oh, kicking myself. You're still, you're still annoyed. Nice. And this then I bought this big. Oh, yeah, yeah. oh, oh, oh my God. Oh, oh that's I already had a, I, No, I already <laughs> okay. had it. It, it. it already kind of snapped in tra- transit, oh, okay. but uh, man, it's gorgeous. Okay. Like, these oh, that's amazing. Good. So, this is Ogre that's Scale insane. with with basically their third party. Arm pieces, pauldrons, head, obviously, and the lower legs. I know, and the, no, the lower legs are great. That set. And yes. what what is that? Yep. What is that? Um, is that also part of the set? The belt piece and the and the skirt. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yep. yeah. Um, I think wow. it's it's yeah. I think the whole thing is is part of the set, right, Malcolm? I think that's. Yes, where yeah. I think so. so. Yeah, it was. Um, it, I just remember it was kind of a World of Warcraft sort of uh, style okay. to it, yeah. and yeah. Very Nothing dark wolf, it, sort yeah. of like wolf yeah. head. Yes, I mean it's it's yeah. the articulation is a little limited because of this. Although the legs are fantastic, the lower legs are incredible. Yeah. Um, but I just love the look of it. It was great. He, yeah, yeah, you know, but it's the refuse. kind of figure you can just get on a reasonable pose on your shelf and is going to look amazing. Exactly. You know, you, yeah, you don't exactly. need it to be. Uh, you don't need it to be really super articulated on your shelf. Right. Wow, that's awesome. Um, that's awesome. Yeah. It was, There's a cu- couple was of great. things I completely forgot I got. <laughs> um, <laughs> a couple of ca- I, I picked up a couple of capes from uh, Dala. Oh, Bio yes, Curtis. capes. <laughs> oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. And a Steve head saw, as well. I saw, I think it was, uh, I, I can't remember who it was, but they had a cape for Melena, a yellow cape. And it really... It really upped that figure. I think like, it was Amber. I, I like that figure anyway, but it might have been Amber Gonzalez, yes. Yeah. Um, and uh, that with the yellow cape from Darla and really nice fabric and the wire obviously in it as well. Wow, it made Melina twice as kind of cool, you know. And she, I like her. Some people are, she's a little bit of a Marmite figure. She's kind of a, people either love or hate her. But um, <laughs> I, yeah, uh, I really like her least liked figure. I know, I know, I know. She I, re- I remember it. Effect. was like, yeah, she does. Yeah, yeah. she does. Actually. Give her, yeah. give her a spell effect. Give her, give her a cape. Oh, there you go. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah, capes were great. Uh, yeah. yeah, he had a, he had one for uh, Lady Averona, which was cool. Kind of matched her. That's what I picked up. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah. 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 So the people that were there for legions at uh, Muskecon, they did pretty well or you think they were happy enough with the with the whole thing? I think they did. I think, I think most people did yeah. reasonably well. Yeah. I mean, it's a sm- again, small con yeah. diverse audience because I think there's a lot of things, you know, there, as Malcolm said there's a lot of artwork there, kind of anime stuff for kids and things like that and some crafts Arts and, and crafts, yeah. So it's not like hardcore, you know, there are some like you said there's some vintage stuff there, but it's not a hardcore toy con yeah. as of yet. Well, cool. So um yeah. Um I think people were discovering the lines and then kind of going over to the people who are in that area and going, oh, so these heads go on here or I could get that. So, you know, kind of just discovering it that way. But yeah. uh, I don't know. I hope everybody did well enough to make it uh, worth worthwhile. I mean, I know it's it's just great to hang out. But, you you know, if you're spending that much time, you do want to make your Yeah, you want to make your make a little your extra cost a little bit more. Yeah. yeah, yeah, definitely. I understand. Oh, that's cool. Um, Right. Um, so, should we uh, chat a little bit, maybe, about the the next little while for Legions? What's going to happen? How we're feeling sure. about it? Um, so, <laughs> obviously, Trevor can be slightly compromised in this, um, <laughs> 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 um, because he's obviously the official photographer of the line. If you've been with us this far, um, but. Um, we're in a kind of a little, I would say, a little lull period at the moment. It's very much, uh, how would you say, it's a kind of a false lull period, I would say. I mean, obviously, the guys are at cons, like, uh, you know, this past weekend, they've been at Atlanta and the New Jersey Toy Con. Um, and obviously, they're at Muskie Con the, year, the week before. They've just come off the big shipping for the in-stock sale, which is, I think, still ongoing. I know, Rich, you got your um, your shipping notice for that, so you're I did. slightly happier, Bunny. I got mine. <laughs> uh, I got mine in as well. I actually got mine in, so I've been shipping out um, 
the boxes to the people that I got extra figures for and I'm going through what I have myself and I opened it to Mies Strauss because I hadn't had him and very impressed. Kind of need to get a second or third one now just to for customs, but um I don't know what I, I I I think I was just trying to get out with my basket, you know. <laughs> I should have put another two or three of him in there. But uh by the by and uh yeah, we're in that kind of period now where you'd be thinking about if there's going to be an All Stars, that's going to have to start cropping its head fairly soon mm. in terms of uh, voting or, or chat about that. Uh, we obviously have the awesome retailer wave that we just put in our order for boys. Um, yep, yep. Uh, that's that's why we're in a lull. As soon as yeah. that's finished at the end of this month, yeah, then the floodgates can open again. Then it's like I yeah, it's all just awesome stuff for the and they month, can, yeah. yeah. I think so too. Um, I can tell you from from our little group pre-order that we did, um, the cosmic figure got heavily yes. ordered in that. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> um, I love you know, that. We yeah. we all got a cup. We all got at least one monkey, uh, one Marley, and yes, Trevor has the vintage version, and Mal has him as well. Not Probably not to hand, yeah. but uh, yeah, he has him. Um, it's amazing. As we were saying on the show there uh, a while ago, Trevor, there was probably guys that had them listed on eBay for months and then suddenly they're all being oh, sold. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I, I bookmarked or liked a bunch of them and then and guys were like, like, hey, I'll give you 10% yeah. off, 15% off, 20% yeah. off. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's like, you don't know. Like, you could I'm double gonna... the price here, buddy. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Um, no idea yeah, what's going so, on. I think we're we're probably talking two to one cos that cosmic figure to the rest for us, which was uh, pretty impressive. But I loved the Monkey King as well. The more I looked at it, I thought I have to get at least two of them, uh, oh, even if from, uh, 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 from what's going on this weekend, um, Atlanta, yeah, yeah, Toy mm. Atlanta ToyCon. They had their fa factory mm. samples, um, yeah. but. They just look the same as the ones Trevor took of the prototype, which is always incredible. Okay. Um, I like the extra brightness on the monkey now uh, and yes, the brighter yeah. gold, but I do love yeah. the original one as well. So, uh, but it's, mm. it's nice to have both. But um, I never know what's coming when those come in. Like I, sometimes I'll mm. ask or sometimes I'll get advance notice or something, but um, <laughs> they just told me that they were coming and I opened them up. And so I'm guessing like everybody else, like as I'm opening the box, and I thought for sure, and it's one of those things where you're like, you know, like everybody on the cabal will, or not everybody, but certain people on the cabal will go, oh, I wanted it to be a barbarian Santa, or, you know what I mean? Like that. And <laughs> yeah. I, I was thinking Snow Monkey the entire time. I was thinking like, this is going to be snow colored. This is going to be, you know, like, and I got, I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> kind of <laughs> similar. Like, yeah. <laughs> Did but, you run and get your other monkey king like, and say, what's the difference it? here? No, yeah. no, no. I saw it, but I like, and I like yeah. it. But uh, mm. you know, it's, it wasn't it wasn't as drastic a difference as I expected it to be. And then the the uh, um, Marley was like a complete surprise. Like the whole mm. haunted mansion, you know, mm. paint style was Very was cool interesting. Uh, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. So is it easier for you, Trevor, if you know what they're going to send you, or is it more fun and exciting, but more difficult if you don't know in terms of photography? Uh, that's an interesting question. Like in terms of the like, um, like that stuff, the retailer stuff, it doesn't matter. I'm just taking pictures yeah. in black, mm -hmm. and it doesn't really matter. But in terms of like, uh, especially with cosmic, because with mythic, you can kind of like, all right, here's yet another figure that could go sort of in a castle forest you know setting like that you know what i mean like with cosmic it's so scene specific and so that like with with ox crew we had to talk about it i mean i was I, i'm not gonna say, i was kind of on them about like uh i was talking to uh, eric about it eric treadaway and like like i let's start talking about like what kind of setting you want for this next wave because if i have to get a dial made or something like that and they ultimately made the dial, but uh, it's very specific. You know, you got to have that stuff ready. I'm doing, mm -hmm. having a dial made for something else right now. And I had the dial made for Marley, uh, knowing that that was coming. So yeah, knowing what's coming is definitely when it comes to that more specific stuff uh, is very helpful because trying to come up with okay. some sort of setting to fit some of these things is tricky. Yeah. Uh, 
Yeah. Yeah. So it's definitely more it, fun think, is, to is have some of that your fits. um your Star Wars fandom as well? Is some of that that you're kind of very more specific about the sci-fi or um, or is it just the nature of the line? I think it's just more the, I think it's more the nature of the line, but it is like I do want to depict it the way they want it shown and not mm. just because there was that um what was the uh what was the intermediate wave there? Um they were oh, getting the soon. Outpost the, Zaxius. Of, oh, no, Outpost, Outpost, Zaxius. Outpost Zaxius, which in the description, you know, Jeremy had given me. That's the other thing with that is you're getting stories along with that that like tell yeah. and kind of describe where they are. And I kind of had to go back to the um, the um, uh, Crashbox Custom, which is a great set, but I had used it, you know, for for other things. And I kind of wanted. Yeah. I wish I could have had something more specific to that setting but uh, it worked out i mean you do what you can to do with with these things but it's gotten to be yeah. such a thing that you want to like really knock it out of the park you know what i mean so it's yeah with cosmic it's yeah, just maybe. a matter of i want to have the right environment you know like with the yeah um with the miner, you know, that was easy. I could do like a, like he's in a mine. Like I can make it look like he's mm. in a mine with stuff that I have lying around. Um, but, you know, other specific stuff, you definitely want to have a heads up. Yeah, you're right that there is this, there is a lot more story from the start with Cosmic. I mean, that's obviously how they're approaching it. And with Jeremy, I'm, you know, more involved uh, from the start here. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I think you're, you're doing right by it to try and get it right, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, and you don't want to, you know, maybe maybe if there is a comic book or whatever of this, uh, which is more likely than not, I would say there's going to be some sort of media with Cosmic at some stage. Uh, yeah. You want it to maybe be, oh, yeah, that's actually related to what I shot back in the day. So, yeah, the basis for it. I mean, we had a literal discussion about the Ox Crew thing that was like kind of like the one I had with Crashbox about coming up with the prison look. You know, I mean, Eric had given yeah. us like a wall to go by and then we had to kind of come up with the rest. And this this one, I was talking with Eric and Jeremy and saying, okay, what color is the sand? You know, like if this is like a sandy, you know, dirt planet, I don't want to just do like Tatooine. You know what I mean? Like it should be yeah. your own thing. Like you should start coming up with, you know, that kind of lore on top of just the, the lore of the story and the lore of the people, like what do these planets look like? They should look different than anything yeah. else that is out there in terms of sci-fi, which is where we came up with like the purple rocks and the red, yeah. orange sand that, and things like that. And that so, creature, you know. the scape back is, is blending into yeah. the environment, which is a very cool thing. And beautifully, which is actually <laughs> so good. And it's, it's actually the, the point where you tell me if you mention that wave, uh, ox crew, I can close my eyes and picture what it looks like. It's that kind of purple environment, you know, yeah. and I can see the Green kind skies, of crates and all that kind of tricky. stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Tricky. <laughs> Often when, when we look at these photos, you don't understand the pain that goes into them sometimes. You know, it's a bit I like... Don't think uh, I understand that. Maybe Nate. <laughs> yeah. It's a bit like, the you know, I can see... I have a better appreciation now of when I see someone that has an amazing paint job and a custom... I can understand yeah. a bit the pain that maybe went into that at some point yeah. and how at some well, you're point you're establishing lore too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> you're establishing you know, lore that's again is going to like feed into people's like yeah. like you said if there's a comic book or something comes comes out this yeah. is kind of going to be the basis for it. So, yeah, I definitely want it to be on the money. Yeah. I, like I, I can guarantee the first picture you take every time of, you know, of, of your environment shots is not the one you keep. Usually, you know, you've deleted maybe 20 yeah. pics before you get the right one, you know? Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 for sure. Yep. Right. So in terms of All-Stars, if we were to get All-Stars, is, is that something you'd like them you'd, you'd like them to continue, Trevor? Are you an All-Stars fan or...? Or I am. Uh, I was, it was funny enough. I was having a conversation with Curtis and Jeremy at MesquiteCon about All Stars. Now we all yeah. know if we know Curtis. Curtis is not a fan of All Stars. No, um, he isn't. No. Yeah. Uh, I like All Stars. I like the. I like having the ability to get stuff that I don't have, even if it's stuff that I do have. You know, picking up an extra one for for parts, or or just the idea that people who are coming into it now still have the opportunity to get some of those older figures. I I realize they're not as exciting, which is Curtis's, I think, argument that they're just they're kind of, you know, boring in relationship to what we're getting now in terms of 
even just the parts that come with them and you know we, we see yeah, them over and over again he's a customizer collect- that's what he's looking for is stuff yeah. like that but collectors are they're not they're all strange people are all strange and people just sometimes want to have that figure Mm-hmm. And you can't ever explain to them, oh, but this other skeleton is way better. or This other demon is like way more accessories. And they're like, yeah, but I want the yellow guy, you know, that's yeah, literally just, exactly. it, you know, for example. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I, I do, like all I'll say is we've all we have all us all four here not chatting now have all benefited from an all stars wave at some stage oh. in oh, Pat yeah. and yeah. collection. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, and I have a lot more awesome of a collection than I would have because of the All Stars wave. So, mm-hmm. in that way, I'm a fan. Yeah. Mm-hmm. In another way, I would like them to tweak it a little bit in that maybe make a couple of version twos mixed with maybe two All Stars or something like this, or you know, mm-hmm. like one one like uh, really mega rare All Star like or like they had the alumni last year which is uh, really hard to get figures uh, that maybe have been re-released but are still super popular and then yeah. one wild card that uh, you know anything from wave one that hasn't been re-released people are going to want doesn't matter no they're not going to be the highest selling figure of the line that's right. the other thing for the horseman because as much as Oto, for example sells for whatever hundred on ebay that could be just 20 guys looking for an auto you know you know five six hundred six hundred quid yeah but that's not good that's not going to translate into five six thousand orders at the horseman for an auto it might do but Mm -hmm. if you were to put out an amazing uh knight with a cool head sculpt with modern uh soft goods that they have and modern swords that definitely will sell gangbusters, mm-hmm. you know? So that's that's what you have to kind of put it against. I think they're looking at it now as, and I, this, again, this is nothing from the horse's mouth or the horseman's mouth. Um, no, we'll, take, we'll looking... take everything as, as your opinion. Here. <laughs> it's gospel, yeah. yes. Okay, okay, good. Um, yeah, I mean, I think they're looking at it now as like, if there is a character like Otho that you're just, it's not it's almost not worth it. You, everybody's expecting this. And I, again, I don't know if this is happening, but everybody's expecting a 2.0 on Otho. You know what I yeah. mean? And to just go back and say, hey, let's put Otho in an all-star so everybody can get Otho. I'm sure there are people who want, you know, they're completists like me. I, I paid through the nose for Otho. Um, sure. I would have loved to have paid $35, $40 for Otho. That'd be great. Uh, but if there's a 2.0, I think a lot of people who are coming into it, um, I mean, I'm replacing... At least on the shelf, I keep them elsewhere, but like I'm replacing a lot of the figures, the 1.0 figures of, of these things we're getting the 2.0 version or version twos of um, with the version twos. You know what I mean? So yeah. I think a lot of people I are happy know. with that enough. So I don't think you're going to get a lot of that stuff, uh, you know, like an I don't know what All-Star I'm going like to do that. with version one be... Attila, you know, for example. Version one Attila. I know, I don't version know one Attila is nice. I got him on the shelf and he looks Sweet good. Figure. I'm kind of putting them on another shelf. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. I, this they're is kind the of like the, a little bit the before, team. and then he, <laughs> and then he, f- <laughs> he he found a he found a nice buffing cloth and he got his armor a little bit better gold. Right. Right. <laughs> and and he found a good hairdresser in Mythos to give right. him that beautiful unhelmeted uh That's right. Space Marine Go look. That's right. <laughs> Rich, what do you think of uh, All Stars? Is it something for you or would you like new figures or version twos more? I I like the way they do it now with a combination of new yeah. stuff and some of the original stuff. I mean, don't be wrong, with things like Clavian when I'm up in arms and kicking puppies I, around, I, and listen, but I, screaming listen, all sorts of I you. needed Clavian I, and I got Clavian. <laughs> I'm happy when I'm Clavian. I Team love Clavian. what it generates in the community. I think in my chat with Guion, I said, I love All Star season because it's just bananas. And there is really annoying people uh, uh, who, and, and they could be otherwise people that I love to chat to who just get on the meme train with the certain figure. And you might have to put them on mute for Silver a Horn few days, you know, or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> but that's fine. Um, 
but it works. Look, there was always the guy, I uh, can't remember his name now, uh, the Silverhorn Sentry. He had some of the best ever yeah. All-Stars posts. He never won. If they're clever, but he got it in. great. He got it in, he got it in a reinforcements wave. Brilliant. So it worked out. And it was clearly a popular figure. It did get votes. It just was always fourth, mm-hmm. you know. Uh, it's like when you finish fourth at the Olympics, is it a failure? Probably not, but it sucks, you know. Um, so, yeah, I thought I, my I just uh, love that kind of crack. I thought my better red and dead uh, Clavian uh, button was was, was clever. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I love it, and I mean, obviously, now that we do Allegiance show, I mean, it's obviously bonus time for us in terms of uh, chat and you know. Uh, content from the community it's like perfect uh, i love all that kind of all-star talk it's fun um, it's definitely fun like it, it's like the kind of thing of you know you see this guy on ebay for a couple of hundred quid you could actually get this for retail like our you know direct horseman price if, if you're lucky yeah. in a couple of weeks time and then you have to yeah. just sit on your hands for uh, six months a year to get it in hand but it's coming you know like well, nobody has a thing nobody's is... searching for sorry rich nobody's searching for clavian on ebay now they know he's coming you know but that's what thing as you said john you know you have to wait six to twelve months and that's another good thing with this is it's quicker turnaround it's like mm. you know yes pox this was an extreme over two years but you know the bigger waves take longer whereas these ones they can get them out mm. quicker and people like that sort of thing you know i like mm. that sort of thing yep yeah, they're basically going back to the world. Five was sweet. And in terms like, of production that's, time, that's the kind of stuff I want. Is like I want that gold skeleton to be redone because I don't want to pay five hundred dollars for that stupid no. gold yeah, skeleton. Don't do it. You know, that's yeah. what I'm talking about. That's yeah. why I wanted Clavian. Yeah. Like I'm not paying four hundred dollars for Clavian. Uh, I just can't bring myself to do it. So that's the kind of stuff I want. Um, on the other hand, I kind of do like that. Otho's kind of an you know, a little bit of an exclusive club. You know what I mean? I kind of like. Oh yeah, that. it's, it's a totally it's not but right, but like I kind of like it. I'm the type of collector that I collect the character. So, if I have version two, Otho or version one, uh, and I can only have one of them, I don't care. I want the character. Yeah. Um, but I also find it cool that there's a load of guys out there that have the original Otho. It's very hard to get. It's commands a huge price on ebay good for them um there's no way of really getting it now and turning a profit it's like either you got it back in the day and you've held it for six years or eight years ten years <laughs> fair play if you want to sell it for 600 quid that's your yep. that's your business now you know you, you've had it for 10 years uh it's going for a high value if you want to uh, liquidate it and buy you know 20 figures for yourself instead 20 new figures or whatever it is go for it you know i mean i, I yeah. think that's that's absolutely the benefit of being a collector you know sometimes you're lucky sometimes yeah. you'll buy a figure and like brian Fitus, one of my favorites he's never going to be a big price you know that's just it it's never going to be retail again out. john never mind, mind a big no. price <laughs> it out. i don't think so trevor at this stage <laughs> but, and wait it but out that's absolutely um, fine um, you know Waited out, and and all those 1.0s or version ones have gone way down uh, in yeah. price since the version 2.0s have come out of you know uh, totally mm-hmm. yeah you know Attila and uh, you know Atlas and all those things have come down. So as soon as Otho 2.0 comes out, you'll be able to get an Otho for maybe 250 at that point. You know, who knows? Yeah. But it's even like like I I don't think it's an amazing figure, but I love the gold skeleton, and I remember yeah. Probably when I decided, oh, I'd, I really like that figure. I wonder if I could get it. It was probably at 100 quid in the community or $100 going around. So, you know, we're talking five, six years ago. And I was like, no, I'm not paying that for it. There's no way then I'm paying today's prices for it because I wasn't willing to pay on. It's, it hasn't got better. <laughs> you know? No. It's got more rare. But like I had my chance at 100 or maybe 110 or whatever. Uh, plus shipping or you know you get some you get a friend to 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 ship it to in the states and you pick it up whatever um but that's gone now i missed the opportunity hard yeah. luck you know move on you know and pray that it gets out in a two point or uh, an all-stars and if it doesn't i i realized it's very difficult to be a completist in allegiance 
but you can be as complete yeah. as you want and you can decide like at some stage I was like maybe I should just get all the motus not not just only but I, I should just complete uh, the motus and then I was like oh no Uncan is just too high so I repainted a, an orc when we got those orc legion builders in the first reinforcements and I was like okay I'm happy enough with that it's not complete complete but it's complete for me and yep. um, then I was like okay I need to pick my favourite factions to be complete so Basilia is my favorite faction. So I managed to get the blue dwarf Jorand for good 80 pick. or uh, 80, <laughs> 90 or something. Yeah, it is a good faction to complete. But I was looking, <laughs> I, I kind of, well, I, I mean, I knew I liked that, you know, that was one of my favorites. And I was like, okay, it's my favorite. Um, and I only had him to complete it. So I was like, okay, that's easy. But it wouldn't have been easy if he was a 500 figure at the time. He was probably around 100. And I got a good deal off Travis for 80 happy days and he sent me a load of heads to paint uh for him and we did a deal on that so you know i got a i got a good deal on it but if you're looking at arith here to try and complete you got a couple of very heavy hitter expensive orcs there yeah. <laughs> from it's back a in the good day. approach and i yeah. tell people that all the time but <clears throat> it is difficult because when i started out i was like I'm not interested in vampires i'm not getting vampires and as soon as you pick up a vampire mm -hmm. <laughs> that, or they improve the vampires like they did in Alithia and give you some cool stuff like a guy with a you know a, a hawk. You're like, oh, oh, <laughs> I guess yeah. I guess I kind of like vampires yeah. now. So yeah, similar for me but with we, the skeletons. You know, I mean, yeah. before Necronominus, <laughs> eh, shrug, <laughs> and Necronominus comes out and it's like some of them are so <laughs> cool. Even like the most basic skeleton that they do, yeah, is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> mm. but so so we talked uh recently about you know we we realized now they're back around to the start of the factions in, and we had a chat about what we'd like in arathir and leodysius your favorite faction trevor if i'm right on that um what other factions do they need to maybe sprinkle a couple of figures in this year uh throughout the waves if we're if we're, we're, we're not thinking about you know versus waves or anything uh, I definitely think it's time for a vampire too, Rich. What are you thinking? Oh, it's always time for vampire. Yeah, Possibly. but but really, especially, you know, what are we looking for in the vampires? Th yeah. It would be in Lithia's brood, but I'd actually pivot slightly and I'd put a werewolf in. Oh. They're very closely nice. associated with yeah. a lot of literature. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. And Eric's already come out and said there's werewolves in Mythos. Yeah. So, you know, I, you know, right, you'd have to need an entire faction of werewolves, just put one, maybe two in Lithia's Brood, and then you've got that. Yeah. And isn't there, yeah. A, yeah, yeah, yeah. isn't there a figure obscura that you could use some of those parts for as well, then? Or, or I'd want to see Brute Scale. <laughs> brute Scale Werewolf. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Like. yeah. yeah. I think since getting the last two brood Big. scales, I want nearly brood scale everything. <laughs> I know. Oh, def definitely the orcs. That brood scale orc mm. is so good. And Kalazir is magnificent. And I'm I'm actually just realizing I've made a boo boo and I, I don't have an extra Kalazir, so I need to maybe rectify that. Uh, yeah. Just to have. I'm, I, I always, even if I don't have a custom idea, if, it, if a figure is so good, like I remember with the Monkey King, uh, I knew it was going to be so good, so I just ordered an extra, even though I didn't have any clue. And I haven't done anything with it, but I'm so happy. I And even though we have the retailer version coming, I'm so happy I have an extra Monkey King. It just makes me feel better. And and I feel like that way with Kalazir is like that some stage he's going to just be sold out. And I'm like, crap, I only have one of this guy. You know, I can't ever, you know, do anything with, because I, I always want one of the original figure, you know. So now I'm like all those awesome parts and I can't do anything with them until they come in another figure. Um so okay, so we a couple of vampires, what are the faction? I mean, let's not let's not we don't need to go near the ones we talked about, but uh, and we obviously most recently had the Red Star and the Noble Bear. Uh Zylona's flock is always kinda I feel like it's always getting a couple of figures here and there. Yeah, there's a decent uh, my my uh, on my shelves. If I think about the two most filled out ones, it's Arathir and Xylona's flock. So, uh, um, and then Etheron and Necronominus are obviously coming soon. So, so yeah, you're really you're back to 
sprinkling a couple of Alithia's brood in there. I think Sons of the Red I would Star love to could see... still afford to have a couple more. Yeah, yeah. I think it, that's got to be compact, though, right? That can't, like, expand. Yeah. Same with Bas- Basilia. It's like it's got to almost be a little contained and not too get too crazy. But I would like to see... I mean, I know we have a lot of orcs, but, you know, we're talking about, you know, the idea that orcs doesn't like their affiliation with Aerithir and wants to break out. I would love to see an yeah. orc centric wave, you know, with some more brute scale orcs. kind of thing. Yeah, and some more just interesting takes on orcs, you know what I mean? Um so something like that would be cool. Maybe a maybe an orcs a 2.0 that that figure could use a a 2.0 for sure. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I think we we mentioned on here the idea of orcs uh, maybe being the, the first Female brute scale. That would be kind of cool. The, the female, yeah, the the yeah, exactly. The like the Vorga sized, like like yeah. Vorga ask or yeah. actually brute yeah. scale. But yeah, yeah maybe. maybe even make her, her a bit taller and chunkier, mm-hmm. so she's more brute scale. But yeah, that'd be cool. But, yeah. yeah, I mean, she'd be the female two point oh, but brute scale. I yeah, don't know like, how that works. But well, yeah. I mean, you got the you got the body with uh, Nate uh, Neve, right? So. Take that, yeah. yeah, turn that into an orc, and you're good to go. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Give her, yeah. I mean, the more and more I think about it here, I I do get back to you, Rich, that maybe a couple of new factions here are what we're gonna start seeing yeah. sprinkling in. Oh goodness, yeah. I mean, if if I don't think we'll go back to a versus wave, I, but now is absolutely the time to do new factions. You know, they filled out I'm the original the... ten. Everyone's happy. Just throw some new things in. Fishmen, lizard men, pirates, you know, races from outside the landmass that is mythos, all that sort of stuff, you know. Now's the time to chuck it in. Uh, I also think that, you know, if we're thinking that this big dragon is coming, you know, maybe a that kind of dragon type faction. I mean, Rhaegar already hinted at it with the shield. They already mm-hmm. had the symbol. So mm-hmm. uh, heading in that direction. Um. And then they could also get the yang for that one. You know, the yin and the yang for that one maybe gone. Well, his character was said to have come out from outside of Mythos itself as well, wasn't yeah. it? So, mm-hmm. yeah, mm-hmm. again, that opens yep. it up to a little mysterious. do whatever you like. It's like, you know, you don't have to conform to anything they've had previously. You can, you know, there could be a smaller continent somewhere where they've, you know, just got mm-hmm. crazy armor or, yeah, yep. whatever. I mean, it's a little too on the nose in terms of Game of Thrones, but you could see, like... You know, the battle against the Dark Four not going well. And, you mm-hmm. know, at a dark time, suddenly, you know, I don't know, either Rhaegor goes and on a quest to, you know, find his people and bring them into this. They're very quiet. They want to be hidden. They And they have their dragon riders or something. And they bring out this, you know, dragon to fight for the, totally, uh, the yeah. good guys in that part. That could be, be kind of very cool. cool. <laughs> that would be, be very cool. cool. Very good. Well, look, I think we've... Uh, I think we've covered it all, and uh, I've really had a great time. Uh, yes. So it's always quick when you're ahead. Trevor, uh, what have you got going on the next while, or Anthony, we should know about? What's your next show going to be um, on the Legion's land? <laughs> well, uh, that's a good question, because it's tomorrow, and I'm not really sure. Oh, there you <laughs> go. I've got a couple of ideas that aren't panning out, so it may just be an, uh, an AMA uh, for the three of us, and we're well, going to talk about a little bit about uh, Pop and Swap uh, All-Stars is coming up again. Oh, awesome. Um, it's, it's a little late this year. We usually do it in, like, mid-March, but uh, it's just there's been a lot going on, obviously, so I'm a little behind on that, um, but we will talk about that tomorrow. Um, that's Monday, the... I don't even know the twenty fifth. If yeah, you're listening, it's already to this happened later. in terms of this yeah, podcast. It's already happened. Yeah. yeah. So hopefully you watched so, yeah, it. Hopefully it was a great show and weeks. you really enjoyed it. <laughs> exactly. I have to say, Trevor, um, no as much as I love your guests and you always have great guests when you have them on, um, there's been a couple of shows recently with the three of you and your great crew, and and it's always awesome. And I tend to get a lot out of those shows. I really enjoy them. Um, because I think I feel like you have more you all have more time to talk. Um yeah. you, you know, you're a little bit like me on that show. You 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 know, you do the kind of intro and you kind of keep the show moving along. So mm-hmm. we always hear a bit from you. Um, but we get a lot more of Nate and Bill 
uh, on yeah. the shows where it's just the three of you, and I love that. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, that's why I think it might be by the time you listen to this, it may have it may have been an AMA, uh, which I mm. want to do more of. Just the three of us and just kind of talking about whatever comes up or what questions that people have in the chat. Yeah. It's kind of more of a conversation that yeah. way, uh, not to. Well, go you on can do Jeremy's that with the live thing. stream as well. You know, um, yeah. and yeah. I, I, when we have a live stream, uh, you know, we do probably monthly now with our Patreon, maybe not not quite, but right. we're trying to do a monthly live stream with our Patreon. Uh, like we, it's a public live stream, but, you know, uh, we, we kind of have some Patreon oriented stuff to it. Um, and yeah, that's probably the show I least prepare for in terms of because I know that there will be stuff in the chat and yeah. um, we do a little, we, we might have a little bit. Rich obviously does these amazing drawings for, for our live streams, <laughs> which is well, probably why I'm thinking we probably can't afraid. do the live stream without you, Rich. So no, I, 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 I want to I want to be there Wales. for the um, for the yeah. all that people hold the drawings in. So. Yeah. And we probably can't do the, the live stream of the figure that you have that we're giving away. So, yeah. I keep It'll telling you, John, it's time. a sword. It's not a figure. He gave me a sword <laughs> to give away. There was no super cool ogre custom. Well, look, I don't know what you're on about. If we miss, if we miss our live stream in March, we'll have to do two in April. How's how's about that? Can I tie you down to that? Are you going That's to be fine. in 4G land in April too often? I can work around it. Don't worry. Very good. Very good. And we're going to try and get it on the weekend because we like to invite our patrons on. Uh, and obviously you're one of those, Trevor. So... Uh, if we do our next yep. live stream on a weekend, we'd love to have you on uh, and any of the other oh, patrons. Um, join the patrons. Uh, exactly. Yeah, do join the patrons. Good fun. Um, we try and give you value for money. And when we can, uh, we will give early access. And as you've heard from Trevor, we're recording this at the weekend before our Friday release. So you lovely patrons will definitely get this long before that. Uh, so that'll be fun for you. Um, absolutely brilliant. Thanks for joining us, Trevor, and obviously Nate beforehand. Uh, great to chat. Um, always great to chat. Mal always has good to one see more guys. thing before we go. Yeah, always good to see you too, Trevor. I've got one correction to make, <laughs> Ishcon. It is actually the third of August. So. Yeah, that's what I said. Yeah, that's what you said. Though. Oh, did you? Sorry. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> but I do have one more thing, actually. Uh, intern for a day. I always listen. Come. <laughs> Intern for a day is coming up with the horsemen and the applications are open now. We have all three applied on this podcast, um, hoping that one of us hits the jackpot. Um, and as Jeremy said on the live stream, my holding to us, if one of us wins the intern lottery, he's going to invite, let us invite the other two. <laughs> uh, see, I so, would love to, uh, I would like the, I would love to watch the show though. The where dilemma. One, the, yeah. The, the other two have to fight to <laughs> be yeah. able to join the winner. Oh. <laughs> I've not told them, Trevor, but uh, if, if my name comes out, I'm not inviting either of these two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're going to invite Dave Williams, Guion's aren't you? Because he brought yeah. you last year. Yeah. Yeah. coming. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Or Guion, yeah. Oh. Or we could do a like, like a spin the wheel, yeah, on a live stream. That would be fun. Yeah. <laughs> Don't no, do it, Jeremy. Really Just invite happens. all three of us. Yeah. Um yeah, and then we'll get Trevor to present to us his uh toy or his toy photography magic. So yeah, we'll that'll be so awesome. Fun. Yeah. <laughs> oh, don't sell it too hard, Trev. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's not that great. <laughs> all right. <laughs> He's intimidated, right. John, by my drawings. He's like, no, I can't yeah. be on the same yeah, art thing right. as Rich. Right. It's like, <laughs> no, 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 no. It's on Nate this the best. Don't worry, it. you'll be doing the card yeah. art in no time. You know? <laughs> Take it easy. Take it easy. Have Happy Easter, one. everybody. Bye. Yeah, bunny man. Bye. Stay safe. <laughs> Don't joke on Easter eggs. Stay safe. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>